you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Good morning. Apparently I've been a little bit loud of late because Hannah says I've been shouting a lot recently. What it was, I came out of my dressing room. Normally, oh look at my hair. Normally, um, Emma, the director, puts the microphone and the talk back in my dressing room ready. So I'm getting ready, half naked. No talk back, no microphone. So I came through saying, Emma, do you just want me to shout today? And Hannah went, well, you have been a bit noisy just recently. <laughs> Today's early bird is here. Is it in the right place? We'll soon see. Perfect, almost. There you go, right, it's a Christmas bauble, garland, crochet kit. Oh, that was my head coming into the corner of the shot there. Uh, right, you know with the early bird we crashed the price. What is it you're saying? Well, it's a little envelope, right? And inside the little envelope, you've got some yarn. You've got green, you've got mushroom, you've got red, you've got white, you've got a little crochet hook, and you've got two ninety nine. Oh, and you get that, and you get that. What is that? That's for attaching it to that's that's for making your your rope. That's for your sewing. That's for, you know, everything. Two ninety nine, two pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, Hannah's making these at the moment to go along her fireplace, right? But she hasn't brought them in for us to see. 
Yes, you can, Hannah. You can do it. There you go. Two ninety nine. Make sure you go through. Make sure you go through. Make sure you go through. Oh what? Morning, John. Wishing you a calm and accident-free show today. For oh, I can't tell you. Oh, I had such an accident. And then in the in the pop-in meeting last night, the AGM last night, the village hall started bleeding. Well, no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that at all. It was just like, it looks better today, though, look. And that one's better as well, look. 2 99 2 Can you even get plasters for 2 99 I do not know. Julie says, good morning. Uh, Sharon says, good morning. Diana says, good morning. Cousin Susan says, hope you're not in the wars today. Sue says, good morning. Marie says, you who? Leslie says, morning all. Princess says, morning. Claire says, morning. John all tried not to damage yourself today. Pam says, don't you ever change Pam Mini Harney. No, I won't. Don't you worry. Laurie said, morning, John and team. Have a good day. Uh, oh, and um, who's that? Uh, Sue's agreeing with her. And then Stuart says, morning, John and all. Oh, what happened? Jackson was, were you not watching yesterday, Stuart? My iPad went to fall off the table. Well, I knocked it off the table. I grabbed for it, missed the iPad, but somehow, and there's nothing sharp on these desks. That's why I don't understand that's happened. There was a piece of skin left on the desk, basically, and it was bleeding, and Elliot had to go and get a... He had to go, the um, first aid box didn't have any plasters in, so Elliot had to go out and buy plasters now. They're not, there's nothing in there anymore. Oh, uh, what do you say about stock for these? Oh, third of the stock's gone. And then this one here on my other hand, Stuart, this one. Oh, I don't like this shirt. I'm, I thought I was looking quite slim today, but I look fat, don't I say? Anyway, 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 this one here, I was getting out of the car, picked my house key up, dropped my house key. You know, it goes down the side of the... I hate it, it goes down the side of the driver's to Push my hand down like that, and it... Pieces... I was being a bit forceful, a bit shouty. Uh, Carol says, good morning all. Roxana says, morning. Uh, be as noisy as you like. It helps keep me awake. Oh, Jan. 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 It's eight o'clock. Get up. You lazy mare. Get up. Too noisy. Too noisy. Too noisy. Uh, no, 2.99. Not too noisy. 2.99. Oh, the other Jan's messaging now. Good morning, John F1. No need to wake this Jan up. No, Jan, I know. You're always wet, ready to go, aren't you? I got them confused. I got them confused the other day and I was answering one thinking it was the other. You can take that out and do the menu if you like. Okay, here we go. Eight o'clock, kits revisited. Kits revisited. Then at nine o'clock. Now, we haven't... Oh, sewing room accessories. <laughs> Nine o'clock, we've got sewing room accessories with Barbara Clay. It's not sewing tools like we thought yesterday. She's making this and this and this. And that was it for now. She's making something else on the show. Uh, she's been very, very busy this week. Then uh, we've got fabulous fabrics. Oh, we've got the Arnhem Marie Horner. I love it. I love it. I love it. We've also got there's something new in that hour as well, isn't there? Morgan Pink. No relation to Tula. Anyway, moving on. Then, now, poor old Barbara, right? So, we've just put applique cushions, right? So, she's made this. She's made this. She's made this, right? She, so, nobody told her, go back to one and two, that we had this and this already made. So, she's made new ones, right? So she's had all these things to do in the last four days. She's been so busy, right? But so we're going to do a little bit of applique. Oh, and we're going to do the door stopper in that hour. Then we all run down to Yarn Lane. Or oh, Barbara doesn't. Barbara goes home then. Uh, and we've got lovely Carrie Gardner coming in. We're doing Erica Night Indoors. I know. But there's a cardigan. So I don't know if you wear your cardigan indoors anyway. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is on the uh, email. Studio at SewingStreet.com, studio at SewingStreet.com. The second way, which is the way I've been shouting all my shout, is on Facebook Live. Uh, Margaret says, good morning. Kate says, morning. Yay, my Elna Overlocker arrived this week, but I'm not allowed it till Christmas Day as hubby bought it for me. Yeah, but you need to get it out to check that it's all right, don't you? Uh, Penny says, morning. Keep Barbara and Claire. Oh, yeah, keep Barbara. I can't even speak. 
Keep Barbara McClay away from the scrap box. We will do, don't you worry. Uh, that was Penny said that. And then Kate says, morning, handsome. Great to see you. Don't know what she's watching. Uh, and then the third way you can get in touch. These aren't for sale. I'm just sitting here with them, something to rest on. Uh, third way is uh, on the website. It's working today. It's working today. So you click on watch live and then you see on the right hand side. Oh, it's smaller again. Okay, so you send the message there. Hello. It's, it's smaller writing, you see, so that I don't shout it. No, no, don't worry. And you click on that, send the message. It's Hannah today, everyone, by the way, Hannah and Emma. Hello, she said. She's getting all excited. She's off to a wedding this weekend. Off to a wedding. Anyway, scroll down the page. You will see everything from the next four hours on pre-order. So there's kits revisited for the first hour. Then we've got now. Well, I haven't got that squirrel fab. Uh, oh, I've got one of them. Got one of them, yeah. One's missing. Can't remember which one. Anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's all the first hour. Then, oh, and then that book. I'll tell you about that in a second. Then here's the book that Barbara McClay is making her. Um, there's some brand new fabrics there, look. Now we've got a concealed zip and we've got a brass metal zip. Then we've got beautiful fabrics. Oh, it's Morgan. No, no, it's Morgan Pink, Morgan Blue, Morgan Grey. Yeah, for some reason, she only remembered the pink one. Is there another one? Oh, no, just pink and blue. Oh, look at that. May Moda Fanciful Forest in pink forest fabric. Never seen that before. Oh, oh aren't they gorgeous? Look, that's new. Game on icons. That's new. <coughs> Where's Anna Maria? There she is. There she is. Now, did you see the picture? Now, was it Madame Trudeau or was it Madame... Macron um, made, had a dress made out of her fabric. She was so chuffed. Anna Maria's fabric. Anyway, moving on. You get a free meter, whole meter in that one. Then you've got the Helen Newton cushions, then the doorstop, then another cushion, then another doorstop, then another cushion. Uh, Bond web. Very, oh, that's back in stock. The roll is back in stock. You know what happens every time we show that? It sells out. Back in stock. Panels on their own, instructions on their own, teacups. And then, of course, we go to Yarn Lane. We've got to Yarn Lane. And Yarn Lane is on pre-order already as well. Right, let's get on because it's, oh, it's only 10 past. Right, a lot of you remember that last week I launched this brand new book and we loved it, loved it, loved it. Quilts from Quarters by the award-winning mother and daughter combo, uh, Pam and Nikki Lintot. How can you not love it, right? I'll go through the book in a second. But when we launched it, we didn't have the quilts. Now, it wasn't their fault. I blame Ian. I blame Ian. But anyway, they've arrived. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to show them. I'm going to show you the gorgeous... Now, we sold loads and loads and loads of these books. I just thought I'd... Mm, Tell again. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying four. I said, I think we sold more than four, Emma. Camera four, camera four. Right, okay, so this is the book. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. But the quilts have arrived. So I thought, well, you know what? While we do the book, we'll do a very quick look at the books. It's uh, Kits Revisited, isn't it? Quilt Kits Revisited. Look, got that coming up in a minute. I'll show you. We're not making anything. We're making one tomorrow with Sally Stevens. Uh, I can't remember which one we're doing. I'll, I'll come to it. I thought we were doing that one, but it's not that one we're doing. Um, anyway, oh, no, it's this one. With, uh, we're doing this one tomorrow. Square deal. Not colour, I'm not sure what colour, what fabrics yet. I've not been told that yet, but we're doing, Sally Stevens is doing that one tomorrow. But look, I just thought the book is fantastic. So let's work this out, right? It says here there are 12 clever quilt patterns, right? There's actually 13. Could you get an extra one for free? 13 patterns for 19 99 That makes them a pound and a bit each, doesn't it, really? How much would you pay for a quilt pattern? £10? £8? £12? Do you know what I mean? They're all in here. Everything. And it's, now, it says it's quilts from quarters. The, you can either do long quarters or fat quarters. But obviously, on some of them, you do need to buy background fabric as well to go. You see that one there? The patterns are made out of fat quarters. But then, obviously, the... Actually, I'm taking that back. Oh, yeah, you need 1.3 metres of background fabric, you see, for that one. So it's, it's not all... Look, but then... Right, OK, so what we're doing tomorrow... You need 12 fat quarters or 12 long quarters. Then you need 2.25 metres of the whatever colour you've chosen as your background. 
It's fair. But you know that with these anyway, don't you? So let's have a look at some of them. I'm just, I'm just going to move this here so I don't knock it off the table. Right, let's have a look at some of these because these are all in the book. This one's called Spotlight. Oh, now it might be. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. I forgot we got pictures off. But, oh, well, it's upside down. Isn't it beautiful? Look, 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 look. I've got it here. Now, the thing is, like Hannah was just saying, if you want to, you can make it into a Christmas cross. You don't have to use the tulip ink. This is Curiouser and Curiouser from Tulip Pink, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look at the whole thing again. There, isn't it lovely? We have to thank Emma for taking all these pictures this morning. Well, if it had been up to Hannah, she wouldn't have been told, you see. Right, then I'm moving on to this one. Oh, no, this is the one I just pointed out. And this is huge. I'm not going to open the whole of this one out. Let's have a look at the picture. Look at the picture of that one. Isn't it beautiful? Now, again, you can use your own fabrics for these. So I think this one's called... I've got In Barley Pop. Oh, it would look lovely in Barley Pop, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to f uh, find the name of it now. Sorry. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Well, the thing is, you can make it autumnal, but also you can make it spring-like. You can make it summer-like in the bright greens and everything. It's called Falling Leaves. Falling Leaves. That, is that Tilda? Is that Tilda it's made out of? I think there's a, I've never seen a tilde with a lady with an umbrella before. Lovely. Anyway, be, all, the, all of these are in the book for 19.99. you see. Then, this is one that Sally Stevens is going to make tomorrow. It comes in two colourways. It's called Square Deal. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Maybe you've got Kaif. Maybe you've got some... Maybe you've got some of the Kaif. I've got this in another colourway as well. Look, here's the purple one. Doesn't have to be cave. It doesn't have to be cave at all. It's just that we've had a lot of cave recently, haven't we? And a lot of people have bought lots of it and thought, what am I going to do with this now? Then we've got octagon stars. This is no more traditional colours, this one. But again, you don't have to do it in these colours if you don't want to. Look. And they look at the centre. Because it's an octagon. It looks like they're on the move, doesn't it? It looks like there's movement and fluidity in there. Right, I've just got some more messages for you. Oh, Stuart feels for you. Susan says, good morning, everyone. Just got my coffee. Glenny says, good morning. Claire says, good morning. Hannah and Emma. There's no mention of me. Barbara McClay, she'll be in later. She's saying, good morning. Justine says, mwa mwa from Luxembourg. Lovely sunny weather here. Hope no accidents. Judith says, good morning. Donna says, good morning. From a very warm Torrington. It was very, um, not humid. What's it, not tepid. What's it when it's not cold, warm? Warm, last night when we were going to the meeting. Julia, morning, John. Thought I'd say hello before going off to walk, walk, work. Recording today's show to watch when I get home later. Ah, oh, right, okay, so that's that one. And then last, but not least. Oh, this is lovely. Have you got a picture of this one? I'll just show you a close-up of the heart there. Oh, isn't it adorable? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, hang on, so it's upside down. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's a close-up of the block there. And I'm presuming it's called Hearts and Crosses. 28. They're all, and they're so easy to make all of them. They, they make them so easy. You don't need any special rulers. Uh, some rulers do help, but you don't need to buy any special rulers for it. And they've got to, anything that needs a template, the templates are in the book. The Octagon template, for example, is in the book. I know, isn't it fantastic? 1999. I'll just put that there. Yeah, there you go. Here's the gorgeous book. Quilts from Quarters, it's called. It's such a lovely book. So look, here you go. You've got Simple Stars. We've not shown you that one. Didn't have that one today. Freestyle Fancy. That's a really good one for a beginner. Then you've got Square Deal. We're going to be doing that one tomorrow with Sally Stevens. Then we've got Hearts and Crosses, which we just saw there. Look, isn't it lovely? You see, you wouldn't, if you didn't want to do the crosses, you wouldn't, didn't have to. You could just, imagine if you just made cushions. How big are those blocks? 
Let me have a look. It usually says the size of the block. Um, there you go. 12-inch block size. So you can make lovely 12-inch cushions. 19.99 hidden butterflies uh, crazy hourglass dawns on my bottom morning gorgeous just purchased this wonderful book thank you dawn in cumbria it's beautiful there's falling leaves so if you buy it and then tomorrow we're going to have some bundles not with the books in just fabric bundles. If you want to, if you haven't got your own fabrics, you want to make some of these out of. There's octagon stars. It's beautiful, isn't it? So thorough as well. Then you got spotlight. That was the first one I just showed there. On a beach. Don't take your quilts on a beach. Well, yeah. Don't take your sofa on the beach, oh, unless that's their garden, of course. Judy says good morning. Donna says good morning. Patsy says good morning. Julianne says morning. Uh, June says, good morning, handsome, very mild. That's the word I was looking for, June, mild. Thank you. Uh, Carol says, good morning. Stuart says, love that scrappy multi-binding. There's even a, a section in the book about multi, uh, scrappy binding. Are we having a better day today? Carol, we've only been on air 17 minutes, so we're all right at the moment. Fun of the fair. Oh, now we love this one because it's like a storm at sea, isn't it, that one? Look. But then all those colours... They didn't send that one, they knew I'd steal that one, that's why. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful book. There. Oh, oh, can you imagine that on your bed? Oh, uh, missus. Then you've got Step Into Spring. Yeah, yeah, there's loads more. There's loads more that I showed you. There's 13 different projects in there for 19.99. Oh no, aren't they lovely? Have a think about it. Have a think about it. Make sure you check out because I know hundreds of you have got that book now. Absolutely hundreds of you have got it. Right, yo. Let me just get set up in my John Scott kit shop. Right, okay. So um, more than two thirds, and we bought lots of these, more than two thirds of those books have gone. Just so you know. And, to, and also, I think tomorrow, because more will even go tomorrow, because they, whenever we have a demo, because we've not done a demo on it yet. No, no, well, no, I think even more people come in and get it tomorrow when they see Sally Stevens making one of the quilts, because they're, they're, I'm not saying they're easy, easy, but they, when you see something being made, you suddenly go, I could do that. I could make that. Well, you could. And beautiful, you know that the finished item is going to be beautiful as well. They give you ideas of colours and everything, but you can do your own colours. That's what's the joy of a book like that, isn't it? Because I'll tell you very quickly, right, um, Sally McCluskey's daughter came around the other day. She's doing her um, O-level, what's the equivalent to an O-level these days, GCSEs, on textiles and everything. So she has to do this project. So I'm her client, as it were, for her project. So she came around to talk about what she was making and what she was going to use and everything. And I said, well, I can, I'll send you a few swatches of fabric, if you like. Went up to my cupboard, right? I could make about 30 quilts out of everything that's in my big Indian cupboard now. And you just kind of think, it's just sitting there doing nothing. Do you know what I mean? And, and it was lovely to be able to cut nice big squares for her to take into school to do with her project and everything. But I suddenly even thought, you know what? I should use some of this. I've got some Lewis and Irene. I've got Liberty. I've got Tula. I've got so much in there. It's beautiful. Cave, got some cave in there as well. Right, shall we get on then? Right. Oh, okay, we'll do this very quickly to start with. So this one is called your Peach Sunset. It is a quilt kit. Everything in that box that you need to make the front and the... Now, has this one got the binding or not? Some of them have the binding, some of them don't. I just have, I'm not going to open it up because um, £129.99. pence. I can show you the finished thing, though. Binding is not included in this one. There you go, look. Lovely, isn't it? What's it called? Peach something, isn't it? Peach sunset, not peach something. Do what, what? Split pay, split pay, split pay. Two, I'm here. What? What's the matter? No, because I did this the other day, didn't I? Hang on. Watch. There you go, I'll be in bed now. 
I'm asleep. Now be careful, because when I did this the other day... Where has been caught by the shelf today? They were all over the floor the other day. Delph I'll be sitting on Delphine's cushion soon, so it doesn't matter. She gets all angry because she spends hours doing these cushions, then I come in and sit on them. What are cushions for if we're not for sitting on? Anyway, 129.99, split pay, 64.99. We take the first payment. We'll take the first payment, um, like tonight or tomorrow, and then it'll be sent to you, and then the second one in a month's time. Just two, isn't it? Yeah, just two. Just two payments. In there are the instructions and everything for the front of that quilt. This, this look, I haven't seen this before. You know what? There are so many things. When we unpacked the trolleys yesterday, Paul left early yesterday, so Emma and I unpacked all the trolleys, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, he kept saying to me, can I go, John? Can I go, John? I'm like, I'm not your boss, Paul. In fact, he was the producer yesterday. He was the boss. But, um, so, and as, but as we were unpacking it, I, Emma kept saying, this is nice. I said, I've not seen that before. Well, oh, I've not seen that before. There were so many new things today that I've not seen before. This is one of them. So it's Riley Blake, very autumnal. Oh, now, we just talked about the falling leaves, weren't we, in autumnal colours. Aren't these beautiful? I can save some. Oh, that's just a plastic bag you get there. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, yes, OK. Yeah, Emma was definitely flirting with little Paul yesterday. Oh, there was one time when, I, when um, who was on? Uh, Rebecca was on, and they started chatting about something. So I thought, I'll just turn them off a second. Turn them back on about five minutes later, and they're still witching on about it. No. Oh. <laughs> Look, aren't they beautiful? Which one, which one those shall I open? The brown one or the cream one? Cream one. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, it's echina is that echinacea? It looks like an echinacea, that, doesn't it? What beautiful... So, hang on, I haven't said what it is. So, for £89.88, pence, you get six and a half metres, but you are getting half a metre for free. Right, let me open this one, because this is adorable. I mean, all of those, look at them, all those colours together. Wouldn't that make the most beautiful autumnal quilt? I'd say that, but all of these fabrics, even if you bought... Now, are these available on the website on their own? That one, look how gorgeous that is. That'd make the most amazing frock, wouldn't it? But look, look at this one. If you love, like kind of patchwork almost. Oh, look. Oh, we are going to do this one on its own in a second. It's on pre-order if you want to buy it by the half meter. So the, it's not flannel. But it looks like flannel. And then that there, what's that ruler? The robin, fat robin and thin robin. £89.88. pence. I just think that's beautiful. Imagine, I think a shirt, that would be rather nice. Make sure you make pattern match, though. Uh, Kat says, good morning, John. I'm watching you while stitching panto costumes. Oh, panto costumes. What are you making them for, Kat? Oh, there you go. Barbara McClay's beat me to it. What are you making them for? Ian says, morning, John and everyone. Have a great show. Kat says, I'm working on Treasure Island. I've got the whole cast to do from the little ones to the big ones and the grown-ups. Um, is it a professional one, Kat, or an, uh, an Amdram one? Because Amdram ones aren't normally till February, are they? Do you show pictures during Larn Lane? Yes, we do, Carol. But you have to send them to the Yarn Lane email, not to this email. Patricia, Patricia. Says, morning, John, everyone. I'm off to the caravan for a few days. Oh, I have a lovely time. I want to go away. I'm working all weekend. I'm here all weekend, though. Anyway, isn't that gorgeous? So, shall we play this by the half metre, then? Play this one by the half metre. All of them are available by the half metre on the web, but Hannah picked this because she loves this one so much. Oh, yeah, imagine if you use this. Now, it's not extra wide, obviously, but imagine if you use this... Uh, as the um, backing of a quilt. Oh, I say. How would you do that, though, Hannah? She says she's going to do a patch on the back of her denim jacket. But the thing is, if you... Uh, oh, I know how I'd do it. 
I'd go from the center of that one to the center of that one, down to the center of that one, and across the center of that one, and have that right in the middle. That'd be nice. Oh, and it's funny you should say that, because Becky Alexander Foss just messaged him. Uh, she says, Hannah, why don't you make a weekend bag out of it? Not this weekend. She's ready, packed. She's off to the wedding this weekend. You know what? Oh, I thought you said... <laughs> I won't say what I thought you said. Uh, just offer a PCR test as I've been pinged, says Jill. Oh, Jill, where have you been? Um, have you, you double jabbed though, aren't you, Jill? So you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, the pinging's still going on. If you fill in a travel locator form. Oh, did you know, if you're on an aeroplane, you're not allowed to, even if you're crammed in three seats and three of you there and all of that side's empty, you're not allowed to move because they know what seat you're in, so that if, say, somebody in the seat in front of you tests positive, right, You because if you've moved, they wouldn't, know, you know, anyway. It's important. Anyway, I love this, right, moving on. So all of those are available by the half metre. If you look under Riley Blake, Adele, oh, she's brought out a new re record today, hasn't she? Do you know, she says she lost all of her weight just by exercising. Oh, no! No, I, th I thought I'd read that she'd had, like, beetroot and something else, but... Mega bundle! And you can do what, sorry? Beautiful. £89 at 88 pence. I think that's... Uh, re that's one of Riley... My favourites from Riley Blake, that is, now. I'll have to message Candy later. Or oh, Cindy. Cindy, not Candy. I always want to call her Candy, but Candy's a friend of mine who's a stripper in Liverpool. Well, I say that. She was a stripper in 1978. I don't think she's doing it anymore. Right, this is a panel from the same collection. It's called Autumn, The Year's Last Loveliest Smile. Oh, it's been on there, this one, once before. Not with me, though. I think that people forget that this panel's here because there's the echinacea in the front. Look how, how big it is. It's huge. $15.99. Emma can't fit the whole thing on the screen, look. So now, would you have that as a centre of a quilt and then use all those beautiful fabrics round it? Oh, you do a wall hanging. Because you don't want to make it too much bigger if it's a wall hanging, though, do you? No, you haven't, Hannah. Have you got, you could put it going up the stairs because that's a high wall. Is it not? I don't know. I've not been to Hannah's house. I've never been invited. Stress will make you lose weight. Her divorce was probably very stressful. Oh, Elaine, I didn't think of that. Ah, oh, but yeah, she's done lots of interviews. Maybe she's mentioned that. Maybe she said she was stressed. At fifteen ninety nine. Beautiful. I have to say that the cotton this is made out of feels like a really, really expensive Egyptian cotton. I don't know if it is, but you know when you get those really posh sheets and they've got a higher thread count, that's what it feels like. Okay, next. Yes, I've got, oh, no, I've got, well, I've got this b b bundle. Do you mean that? There's four in there. Yeah. No, 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 there's four bundles in it. Right, well, this is a special deal, right? This one's, I read this yesterday. Oh, what? So, <laughs> sorry, sold out. Sold out on pre-order. Oh, that one, okay. Here you go. This one's got patterns with it. Now, if you're watching on Monday, when your Lando was in on Monday, one of her shows was this, right? It's a woodland game. I'll show you the finished. I'll show, there it is. It's the finished thing, right? This Monday just gone, the 4th of October. So the games are, you can play noughts and crosses, but it's really carrots and rabbits. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, I think she's taken some home. 
That No, it's not too complicated for me. There's just not enough. There's just not enough carrots. Or as well as that, you'll have enough on yours. I'll show you the pan in a minute. Oh, there's a hedgehog. Turn it over and you can play either a memory game or a squirrel carrot. Squirrel. Ca oh, carrot and carrot. Win. Squirrel snail. Squirrel hedgehog. Squirrel rabbit. Squirrel <laughs> mouse. S squirrel leaf. There's no... <laughs> anyway, let me move on. So you get all enough on the panel to make that, this, and... Oh, no, look, there they are. There they all are. Yeah, uh, no wadding in there. But, oh, now, yours won't have a stripe like this. You ran out of fabric. That's the, that yours will look like that. Um, this, has got, this has got some H640 in it. Um, and you get the instructions. And this is the panel that it all... Oh, and you get a metre... Is it a metre and a half? Yeah. metre and a half of... You'll have a lot of that left over because you only need just over a metre. And then... There's the panel. So I know it's sideways, but it's the only way to fit it on the table. All of that for 24 99 a metre and a half of the, um, I want to say old moss, it is moss. Your panel and your instructions for twenty four ninety nine. Brilliant. Yeah, there it is on the picture. Lovely. Now, on the day, we had a panel to go with, but we haven't got that. The squares, no. Might be on the website. If it hasn't sold out, be on the website. Delphine's Autumn Tree of Life. Yeah, so now. This is what the finished thing looks like. I haven't got this exact colourway, but this is what the finished piece looks like. Okay, so I've got, the, I've got the pattern on its own, which I know a lot of you ask for all the time, but I've got also got bundles. So, oh, the bundle comes with instruction, doesn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's this one, yeah. Very limited, this one. Oh, I love these colours. Where's the... I've not seen this fabric. So is your background the moss then on that one? It is, isn't it? And then you've got your drag... I've seen that dragonfly fabric, but I've not seen this, like, dandelion and poppy seed fabric. Oh, and you get this as well. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because that's what the, 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 in the... In that one, it was pink. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Don't you worry, Hannah. Becky Alexander Frost loves my shirt. Elaine says, uh, no, uh, Glennie says, enjoy my coffee. Dull in Birmingham, but very warm. We're not far from Birmingham, Glennis. Here in Redditch. Yeah. So you get half a metre of this, half a metre of that, one metre of that, that's your background, and then these are fat quarters, aren't they? No, apparently the floozy in the jacuzzi's gone from Birmingham to be cleaned. Oh, couldn't they? Well, she was in, they call her the floozy in the jacuzzi. Couldn't, she be, couldn't they just put some soap suds in the water? Oh, Emma, how long have you lived here? Yes, exactly. It's up on the top square. It's a fountain, a big stone lady. Yeah, big stone lady. She's gone off to have a wash now. So is there just a big empty bath then? Oh, it's all been redeveloped around there. Right, okay, here's the other colourway. This one's got a blue background. Oh, and that is that your binding then? Is your half metre for your binding? Must be, mustn't it? Then these you then you get half metre of the shift um organza, and then these are all fat quarters. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. 14th of September was when this was um, 
She's behind the town. She's behind the town hall, apparently. How Becky Alexander Frost knows? Because she doesn't even live here. Oh, in fact, Becky Alexander Frost. I uh, when I went up north last weekend, we had, we were all taken off the motorway. I think you live. Near, I think I went past your where you live. Does it start with a shh? Do you live at shh? If no, is that where you live? No, no shh, and then it finishes if no. There's a bit in the middle. <laughs> Four two ninety nine. That's beautiful. I love that colourway. Sorry, I'm just packing that one up for some reason. Instructions on their own. Autumn tree of life. Now it's a different pattern. It's called tree of life, but it's a different pattern to the original tree of life, isn't it? Different shape and different flowers and things. Yeah, nine ninety nine. Oh, apparently I was very near where she lives. Yeah, shh, something if no. <laughs> nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's not very nice apparently. No, not not where she lives. Sorry, I, you can only hear half half the conversation. <laughs> neither, neither. Shush, you put me off now. Anyway, look, there's your pattern. All your templates. Okay, right, I wasn't going to mention it, right? No, no, but I'm going to now, right? So Hannah has got her lovely new boy. It's not that new anymore. It's a new boyfriend. We've got her boyfriend. And they've already been to one wedding. This weekend, they're going to a friend of his's wedding, right? Um, but they've got to go and stay in a hotel tonight. And so Hannah is going to meet him at his mother's house. So it's the first time that Hannah's going to meet her mother-in-law-to-be. Right? Any advice? Any tips? If you're that mother-in-law-to-be, what would you want? Well, obviously she's going to take flowers. Obviously. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> you have to take something. No, don't take a piece of fabric. She'll end up nicking it from here. I'd take something, because it's the first time you've met her, isn't it? And then when Steph meets your mum and dad, you'll have to take them a gift as well. Then, anyway, moving on. Let's do. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I have. It's lovely. Now, Cara loves this book. Now, this is made up from Marie Claire, the magazine, right? It's all different designers. Have all, they've put a lot of their... Barbara McLean's straight hair is a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's hair is, she's been doing her curly girl. It's still wet at the moment, but it's like this. She put it in a bun. She put it in a little top nut now. Oh, she had it died yesterday. Anyway, 50 fabric animals, 12 99 Now, one thing you do, they have got pattern pieces in, but you do have to, um, you do have to uh, photocopy some of them up. You know what I mean? Oh, not that one, because that's the right, oh, not that one, because that's the right size, but some of them you do have to, um, where does it say? Oh, no, it gives you the, like, so, basically, they give you a proportion of size, so you need some squared paper. Hannah, just be yourself. You are a lovely lady. She will be mad if she didn't like you. Alison Marion says, I've got lemon drizzle cake and Mike got bottles of beer. That worked. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's just as well we asked, isn't it? Anyway, look. Yeah, she never normally gets this far to meet the parent. She's normally dumped them by now. So if you're watching Steph, I don't, you know. Must be a big thing. Anyway, they're going to a wedding. Uh, Hannah doesn't want to know where the wedding is because she's got too much, too many other things to think of, think about. And um, she's, she's going to wear, oh, that's nice, isn't it? She's going to wear what she wore to the last wedding they went together to, but nobody from this wedding 
is going to be at that wedding, so it'll be fine. And none of them follow you, do they? So it'll be fine. Well, what's he wearing then? Is he going to wear his bowler hat? Is that this wedding? Is that this wedding? The bowler hat wedding? Oh! <gasps> Oh, no. He's rented it. Oh, you mean he's in lo t t Top Hat and Tails, that kind of thing. Morning suit. That's Steph, obviously, the, the boyfriend. Oh, no, June. Don't throw a spanner in the works like that. She says, definitely take some flowers. Unless, of course, the mum doesn't like flowers. Don't take a bottle. That's not the kind of thing you take. No, no, no. The mum's not going to the wedding. Oh, now Cara's made this one. In fact, one of these is normally on the set, isn't it? Um, also, uh, is, is this the book that's got the, the fluffy-faced bear in it? Where would that be? I oh, know it's on the wall there, look, over on the wall. You mean the little, there, look, 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 look. That's in here somewhere. Single figures on the book, you're loving it. My mother-in-law hated indoor flowers. Oh, June. Oh, no, Carol says, I still don't feel comfortable around my in-laws. And it would be, I've known them for 15 years. Oh. His mum's younger than me, isn't she? She's very young. She's what? The mum's just turned 50, so she's young and trendy. Goes clubbing, goes to festivals. I think she'll like flowers. Next, please. Do you think I was doing a squirrel impression then? I was just looking for it. It wasn't doing an impression at all. Right, this is a panel exclusive to Sewing Street. I'm right parched this morning. I've left my water over there. Never mind. I've only got 15 minutes. Yeah. Squirrel panel. 12 99 to so make a cushion. Morning, take a plant because they last longer than flowers and less likely to be allergic. Uh, allergic. <laughs> allergic to house plants than flowers. Oh, Ellen. That's a good idea. And they're cheaper as well, aren't they? If you've got time, you go to that lovely shop in Worcester and pick up a succulent. Uh, there's bound to be something in your high street, a shop in your high street. Don't get it from Wilco, so. Don't get a silk orchid either. Okay, she doesn't like orchids. She won't burn one of those. Anyway, luckily, Hannah's house backs onto the Under the Pound shop and, this, and the abattoir, and they sell uh, turkeys for a pound at Christmas. They don't. That's what I thought, because it's got the same entrance to the butchers and the pound shop, right? So I thought they sold turkeys for a pound. I go, oh, you have to be ordering your turkeys soon, won't you, as well, for Christmas? I have. I've got the green one and I've got the red one. Oh, hang on, didn't we have three colourways on the day? Okay, so which one am I doing? The pinky one first. We've got a picture, we've got a picture of the green one, um, Emma, just so you know. Okay. Wendy Orlando designed this for you. Uh, we did it on Monday, just gone. That's, that's your pink and lilac version. I've only got four left, though. It was very popular on the day. I've got four left. Say that again. Oh, lots of people messaging saying, just be yourself, Hannah. You see, what her mum said to us, don't be yourself, Hannah. Look, isn't this lovely? So you get three metres of fabric, you get half metre of the cream for the background there, half metre of the yellow, half metre of the pink, half metre of the lilac. I love this. I love these two fabrics here. I've got a shirt very similar to that. Down to watch, say. Uh, hang on, we only had four minutes ago. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad, everyone. There are seven.
but four people have got it in their baskets. There's three left available for you to get me to get. Sorry, my bad. Elaine says, when I met my mother-in-law, she gave me some body powder and a furry puff. Oh, <laughs> I wonder, I bet he wasn't very pleased. Oh, even worse, a furry puff on a stick. Like something from the 50s, but it was the late 80s. Oh, Elaine. I know what you mean, one of those powder puff things. I used to, not love those, my mum used to have one of those. <laughs> I didn't have one. Anyway, moving on. So I've, got, I've also got this in a green and blue colourway. The color, we think the photograph has been, um, oh, no, it's not. There you go. There's a green and blue version. Thank you, Emma. We, th we thought you'd been deleted. There you go. There were Wendy. Oh, you're not in that day, Emma. No, that was one she was demoing on the day. So here's the blue and green one. You do get the instructions as well, obviously. Oh, he won't know. Davinia says, just ask your boyfriend what, what his mum like. He won't know. What? What are you bringing flowers for? I don't know if he talks like that. I've never met him. My son works in a popular supermarket. And he says the frozen turkeys are flying off the shelves. Well, that's clever if they're frozen. And there'll be a shortage at Christmas. They say, don't, because now we'll start like the petrol. Everyone will go and buy their turkey today. Well, I'm, I'm vegetarian. Well, Hannah will be here. Pauline says, morning, John. Just getting ready for work and watching a little bit of the show. Oh, Pauline, have a lovely day. See, that's what's different, isn't it? Everyone's going to work now. Normal life is resuming, isn't it? 49.99. Now, this one was really popular on the day as well, wasn't it? No, not that flat fabric. I meant this bundle. Yeah. It was demoed, look, there it is. That's the one that Wendy was making on the show. Anyway, beautiful. Dragonfly next. Now, these are still in their bags because I didn't want to get all the little bits muddled up. So I've got teal and I've got purple. Oh, it's... Uh, I've got this one here, this one. They've called it Aqua. Oh, sorry, I'll do it that way. They've called it Aqua. I think they've named it after the wings. Right, okay, so in this bundle, that's all in the bag because you get so many bits and bobs. So you get the instructions. I've got no YT with bees in there. You definitely don't get that. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we were, weren't we? It was inside that bag. So you get the dragonfly cushion instructions. You get, is that a half a metre of the teal? It will be, won't it? You get black embroidery thread. You get white embroidery thread. You get teal embroidery thread. You get dark green embroidery thread. And then your fat quarters, you get aqua and you get the blue uh, twinkle chiffon. 14th of September. Hang on, 14th of September. We did it before that because I did this when it was new. Oh, it's been rebundled. 14th September. They, they definitely made it on the 14th September. That's fine. Now. There it is. Oh, what? Where's that? Where's that been taken a picture of? What's the wall behind? That's not Delphine's house, is it? I think it's a garden fence. Maybe a garden fence. Or a, a, a bench in a back garden. Oh. I where she took that pen. So that's that one. Nine, it's very good value, that nineteen ninety nine. I've also got it in the purple. Again, you get the instructions. People have been checking out on this on pre-order. Half a metre of your purple. Then you've got a lilac, a soft pink, a red, a black. And then your fat quarters are like a lilac and uh, purpley chiffon. Oh, Carol says I'm a bit worried. The undertakers are just parked up the road. Oh, well, they might be popping in for a cup of coffee. Don't be thinking they're there on, you know, business. There we go. Lovely. Next one, please. I've got instructions on their own.
Yeah. Yeah. There's the dragonfly instructions on their own and the autumnal big bundle of fabric. There you go, 9 99 for the dragonfly instruction. Oh, look. Well, like, there's loads of other things. They'll be all be on pre-order if you saw other things on the desk that you wanted. No, 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 it's fine. I've got to take these tea with B teacups out, haven't I? Remember which, you remember which one bundle? Oh, I'm not touching them, actually. Uh, 9 99 instructions. Beautiful. I've also got the welcome sign from village people. <laughs> village people. <laughs> YMCA. No. She's coming in. Yvonne will be in next time. In a, what, which, which one will she be? Will she be the construction worker? Or will she be the uh, Red Indian? Oh, you don't want to say that anymore, are you? Nate. Oh, I don't know what you're supposed to call it anymore. The man with the feathers, I'm going to say. Sorry if I've offended anyone. Or will she be, what was there, was a construct, policeman? Policeman, construction worker, man with the feathers. There were two others, weren't there? Yeah, H Hannah fancied the construction worker. There was not a postman. Uh, we're going to Google it because I can't remember what the other two were. I've just ordered the Woodland Creatures game kit. Has there been a demo of this, please? Yes, Dawn. Monday, just gone. Monday, just gone. Was it the 4th? Yeah, Monday, just gone. Lovely. And there's only 15 of the Woodland Creatures game left. Oh, sorry, I've moved on. Oh, Cowboy. Are you allowed to say Cowboy? I don't know with all this political correctness. And what was the other one then? So, hang on. So we've got the construction worker, the man with the feathered headdress, the policeman, army, and what was the last one you just said then? Before that. Biker. Wasn't that, isn't that the policeman? Sailor, Claire says, was there a sailor? Was there a sailor? Cowboy, cowboy. Anyway, let's move on. Eighty-nine pounds and eighty-eight pence. You get all this. You get half a meter for free. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That collection, John. My I H. What's an I H? An O H is other half, isn't it? My I H is going to buy me a sewing machine as I'm new to sewing. And would you suggest the Elna four fifty for a beginner? The Elna four fifty is lovely, but you might outgrow it quite quickly. Right? How much is the Elna 450? I'll, 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 I'll check it out for you in a second. Uh, it's a lovely machine. It's an Elna machine. But it, and, and I'm not trying to get you to spend more money, obviously. It's a lovely machine, but yeah, it's got all the stitches already included in it. No, it's because we had it on the show yesterday, but we didn't play it yesterday. That's the problem. Here's this bundle of fabric. Oh, sorry. I'll show you the slide. Sorry. There you go. At eighty-nine pounds and eighty-eight pence, this bundle. There they are, all those gorgeous prints. I remember there's a panel. It's not included in that bundle, but there's a panel that goes with as well. Oh, she meant the other half. Sorry, she meant the other half. Um, we're just looking up the price for you now. Oh, we might have to do it at the start of the next hour. We'll do it in the break. We're going for a break in a minute. Here we go. Oh, it's two nine nine. Yeah, it's a good little machine. It's a good little machine. But I'm just. It depends how fast you're going to grow. You'll, it'll. It does all everything you need it to do. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's a lovely, lovely machine to buy. Okay, we can't find it on the website at the moment. I think it's because it was in yesterday's show. It hasn't released from yesterday's show. Yet. Oh, but then you can ring the call centre and buy one if you want to. Um, I, I do. I have to say, I like the 550, 560, 570, as you know. But um, 
But no, no, the 450 is very, very good as a beginner, beginner sewing machine. I just don't want you to outgrow it too quickly, that's all. Right, am I going? No, I've got something else to do. It's over there on the desk. There it is. Wow, that was perfectly placed, wasn't it? Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Quilts from Quarters book by Pam and Nikki Lintot. It's the most exquisite book, I can't tell you. Sally Stevens will be in tomorrow to demonstrate one of the quilts from it. Um, do you want me to flick through it? I'll just get up then and go over. Right, two thirds of the stock of this has gone. Two thirds, and we had so many of these. Now it says 12 clever quilt patterns. There's actually 13 in there you get one for free from fat or long quarters. Um, look, there they all are. Beautiful. This is the one we're going to be doing tomorrow with Sally Stevens. Don't know what colourway we're doing it in yet. But they're just, look, so let's just, let's just take this one for example, right? It tells you on the first page what you need, cutting instructions, uh, whether you've got fat quarters or long quarters. Then you've got other fabrics. You've got background fabric here and binding fabric. Finished quilt, 48 by 48, it's four blocks of 24 inches and then literally takes you through every single stage, where to stitch, where to cut, everything, because that's just half square triangles, isn't that big half square triangles? And then this one, if you're a beginner, this one's fantastic because literally you need 11 quarters, either fat quarters or long quarters, and then um, just half a, half a metre of binding fabric. It's funny that because it does, oh, fat and long quarter because it's the same cutting instructions as that one. In this one, it was different cutting instructions. And then literally just create that lovely all over look. Then the one that Sally seems to be making tomorrow, the square deal. I'm presuming you make that one on the diagonal. Looks like you make it on the diagonal. So your first row will just be a triangle. Oh, I can look actually. Yeah, there you go. So your first row is just a triangle, your second row is a triangle, a block and a triangle. Your second, third row is triangle, block, 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 triangle. It's very simple but creates a very, very stylish look. There you've got hearts and crosses which we adore. Oh, now this one is lovely. The thing is, what you have to do with this one is you really must think about where you put your colours because obviously that's meant to look like it's the dark blue with something over the top that creates a lighter blue. Look very, very different if you use different colours than the blue and the green, wouldn't it? It's lovely though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Hidden butterflies. Well and truly hidden, aren't they? Crazy hourglass. Falling leaves. Oh, now look, you see, look, they've done it in a different colourway there. And look how different it looks. Actually, I think they've set the blocks differently on that one. Look. They have, look, because they've got the stalks all going in. You get more than you think, because if you think they've turned all of those so they all face inwards to create that, that's lovely. I wonder if there's a placement for that one. Oh, no, they've not done that. Anyway, diamond sparkle. Sparkles, darling. All this for 19.99. It's such a gorgeous book. Very clear, very thorough. I love this one. Look. Let me show you the finished one here. Look at that. Whether you do it in muted colours like that, or if you imagine if you did it in bright, bright, bold colours like that one. That would look beautiful on my bed. I'm surprised they haven't sent that one in for me to have a look at. I'd keep that one. See, that's lovely as well, isn't it? Step into spring. Step inside, love. And see. What's the matter? Tear away from that box. We've got to go for a break. Uh, straight after the break, it's Barbara McClay, and she's making... This, and this, and this, and she's making something else as well. We will see you in four minutes from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? 
why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! My favourite piece of kit with the sewing is the sewing with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dress making. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dress making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Barbara Clay's here. She was busy witching then. I was having to go. So we've made a hat. A cloche. Uh, anyway, let's say hello to Barbara McClay first. There she is. Hello. Hi. Look in the right camera. Oh, which one am I looking at? The big at? one. The big one. That one. Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> we should look at the wrong one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the one. The one with the clock. 
You wave to the one with the clock above it. Oh, that's there your you camera. Wait, there what? you go. <laughs> and that's fine. It's nowhere near the edge. Oh, okay, but oh, she just called your work shoddy. <gasps> Shocking. Anyway, <coughs> let's get on. Barbara's here. Poor old Barbara, might, might, has had to make so much this week in the last four days. She's exhausted. So if she falls asleep during the show, please um, bear with us, right? Everything she's made for this show is from a book called Love to Sew, 60 Stunning Accessories to Make for You and Your Home at £10.99. £10.99. From Search Press. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Ten ninety nine. This gorgeous book here. Right. So the pages we're going to look at first of all are pages. A hundred and foot. Where are the pages? Oh, there, 142. There, that's this. Nice. Next page. 136. That's this one here. Oh, it's a bit close, Anna. That one there. And there it is. You don't get the scissors and the ruler in it. 32. Right, there we go. That's the fabric basket there. Nice. And then today we're demoing 114. I mean, there's a lot more in the book as well. I'll show you the rest. Look. Paul's always going about an apron, isn't he? 114. There. Oh, crikey. I have to get onto the demo because there's a lot to do there. Anyway, the book is full of gorgeousness. Look, there's so many lovely projects in here, whether they're decorative or useful. They lovely. Right, um, let me, there must be a, um, a content. There you go, look. Look at all those projects. I oh, know, right, babe, yeah. Frilly Pillow, that one. I think that, let's have a look at that one, 178. It's very bright. Oh, is it very bright, yeah. the Frilly Pillow? Oh, I say. All your templates are in here as well, look. Some of them are the right size, some of them you have to print a bit bigger. Look, look at them all. All the templates you need are all in there. The index there. Everything you need. All that for ten ninety nine. Right, we will get on with the demo in a minute, but I've got fabric to show you first of all. I've got a mega bundle. If you love this fabric because it's brand new, I'll do the mega bundle in a minute. I'll do the smaller bundles first. So if you want, these are half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. So it's called Strawberries and Rhubarb Red Fabric Bundle, two and a half metres, 36 99 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Julie's off to work. See you later, Julie. At £36.99, Moda, remember? Moda, 44 inches wide. This is why it's called... I don't quite know where the rhubarb comes in. The strawberry on there, though, isn't there? Wild strawberries, aren't they? Lovely. Wild. OK, so that's that bundle, two and a half metres. I've got another bundle. Right, now I just need to take that and put it there. I've got another bundle. Did you find me the, the book stand? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's the same print, but in just in a different colourway. There, oh, nice line. Beautiful. Go lovely in my house, that would. £36.99. Yeah. You have done it. It's all right. Yeah. Oh no, Low said, bit late this morning. Cold's getting worse, not better. Oh no, Low. Lots of vitamin C in your gin. Anyway, that's a gorgeous bundle. So, they're two little bundles. Now, I have got a coordinating bundle as well. 
Not complementary. It doesn't say complementary anymore. It just says coordinating. Oh, they put complementary again. It's not MODA whatsoever. This is uh, Rosenhubble. It goes with the MODA. It goes with the MODA. Right? So I'm presuming you've got cream or vanilla, paprika. I want to say mint, but it's not mint. Is it lime? And... Salmon. Hannah's just listening, right? And she's the one who's supposed to... Oh, what? Salmon. I think that's a salmon colour. Salmon? It is salmon. Okay, hey. so it's apple, paprika. No, apple, paprika, salmon and vanilla. Food? It's all food. Anyway, lovely. That's a complimentary bundle. It's not complimentary free. It's complimentary goes with. This, if you love this fabric, we've got a mega bundle. That's very like Bijou, isn't it, that one? Uh, here we go. 67. Oh, that's good for Moda. 67 and 91. Couldn't read them. 67, 91. You get all of these, half a metre of all of these fabrics. <laughs> and the plastic bag. Right, so do we reckon... Well, you get all of them. Anyway, you get all of them. I don't know why I'm worried about which order they go. And you get all of those, half a metre of each. They're always worried about me, apparently. 67.91. You are getting half a metre for free. Saving £7.49. Oh, I've got something itchy in the corner of my eye. Um, I've stopped taking my hay fever pills because I thought it was October. Don't need to take them anymore. It's only when I'm in here. I've obviously got some... Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's not bad because she wasn't here yesterday. What's the, what's the running theme of yesterday and today? Who's been here that was today and yesterday? Emma. £67.91. Have I got anything else to show? Oh, now, yes, I have. Because uh, some... You see this one here? This one was made out of this lovely teacup fabric. So that, those are from the solid bundle. Salmon, paprika. Yeah, just salmon and paprika on that one. From the solid bundle. And then these from a different range. But they're lovely fabrics. So Barbara used this one. It's a lovely fabric, isn't it? It's Riley Blake tea with B. Off-white, they've called it. Off-white teacup. I'd say it's only just off-white. I would have said that was white. Beautiful. Then I've got it with like the soft um, blush background. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it is called blush. Hello, John. I've taken my hay fever pit meds all year round. Lots of love from 20% 20% hugs. Do you know when I went on to um, Jewelry Maker, Davinia sent the same message in there as well. Um, um, I don't, don't normally have to take mine all year round. I just, um, I, they're, 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 my hay fever pills were fantastic. Yeah. But it's only in here. Don't get it at home. Oh, sorry. No. That's why when I come in in the morning, I open the doors and the window and the main front door, but there's no windows in EC, so you can't have a blow through. This one's called Sky. Oh, okay. Green Sky. Oh. Oh, you're going to say sea, are you? Sea foam. Sea foam. £7.49 for half a metre. You can buy that off the bolt. Have as much as you like, but buy the half metre. Right, and the other th only other thing I'm going to show you that might be used in this hour is the H640. Don't look yet. There you go. Who said that? Judy says anti it makes you fat. Oh, well, well, I've stopped taking it now. Let's see how much weight I lose. 9 99 for your metre by 90 centimetres of fusible fleece. H640 fusible white fleece. 
Righty ho, Barbara McClay. <clears throat> so just talk me through this one before you. St- oh, hang on, I've got denim as well. Uh, so this one you took, you took half me to your denim. I did, yep. Um, which is there, four ninety nine, light blue, lovely. Oh, sorry, put that in the shop for you. And then this is from the book. You've obviously literally put stripes or strips together. Yeah. So they what with what you do with that is they call it quilt it quilt to go. Quilt as you go. So quilt as you go. Yeah. So you cut out the panels on the wadding. Then you cut the strips and you lay them and you do oh, quarter inches. Oh, like flip and stitch. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, flip yeah, and yeah. stitch and then you put your lines in um, oh, lovely. as you want them. And then, and then you put your little um, handles on. Yeah, with, um, a couple of little rivets. Little rivets. Yeah. We haven't got rivets today. You must have those from home then. Mm-hmm. They're husband's rivets. Is husband watching, by the way? Um, he might be. Is he not at work? He is at work, but he puts it on the side. So, and then he messages me every now and again and says, you're doing a great job. Oh, <laughs> well, you don't see that. You can message me, though, anytime. <laughs> message him, please. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, then this one here, which was also from the book, which mm-hmm. you made out of a completely different fabric. I did, yeah. Um, that one, again, is... A tube, yeah, and then you cut out the strips on the sides, right? Um, and then make your little pockets and then stitch the base on. So, brilliant! So, it's a craft a... bag or a makeup yeah. bag or anything like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, oh, and then that, then the third thing. Oh, no, the third thing's that one behind me, isn't it? Right, yeah, and that, that one is the top part of that. You can carry all of your um cutting mats and things in. So that's why it's kind of got the angular parts Oh, on. nice. Very nice. Okay, yeah. so they're all the things that, they're three of the projects from the book, but mm-hmm. we're doing one that's completely different, aren't yes, we? Yes, I am. So what I, page is it on, sorry? It's on page 114. 114. And I am making a floral sewing box. Be- beautiful. So I have cho- I've It doesn't have to be floral. No, it doesn't have to be floral. You don't have to have the piping in it if you don't want to. Okay. Um... And you don't need to quilt it if you don't really want to. But so you can make it completely different. You can make it completely different. Okay, so how do you know what to cut out then? So in the front of the book here, it's got um, patterns. So oh, let's move it there. Oh, yeah. there push we go. Forward, there you so go. Well it just tells you here on your tracing paper what sizes to cut out. Okay, don't worry, your eyes aren't playing up at home. There you go, there you go. <laughs> and then you obviously cut your tracing out, which yeah. I've done here. I've used some... Um, this used to belong to my nan, this paper. I found it in her stash when, when she passed away. Oh. So um, I'm using this today. But this is um, the size that you need, which is 14 um, and a quarter inch by eight, eight inches. Okay. So I've cut that and I've and chosen. And then you cu- cu- curve the corners. So you curve the corners and it's kind well, of... Save that. You can't be careful with that piece of paper. Oh, I've got one on the oh, back here one, as well. Um, paper. It's it's. I like this book because it tells you to use things that you wouldn't normally. So when you curve the edges, it says dump a plate on it. Oh, OK. Put a cup on it or, you know, anything that's got the nice round edge. Oh. Just, just to, it's a nice book for that. Um, uh, Penny Williams is loving all the bags. Oh, good. Hi, Penny. And... Um, I've chosen two of the, I've chosen the lime one. So they're the same fabric. Right. But I've chosen the lime one. In from, the different colours. Yeah, right. so they're from the Mega Bundle. Did we just, send, oh, they're from the Mega Bundle. Yeah. So we just sent you the whole Mega Bundle, didn't mm-hmm. we? Yeah. yeah. So I've chosen to use the same one, but in a, in slightly different okay. colours. So I'll iron those in a minute. And again, with the pattern, uh, this part here is 17 and a quarter inches by four and three quarters okay so it tells you to do that and then mark it down an inch and a quarter and then you cut it so you have two pieces because this is where your zip oh, that's where your zip goes so in, this yeah. is where your zip and i couldn't for the life of me when i first read it work out how that was going to fit around that long edge right and then i realized it's actually that way and it only goes half oh, <laughs> it took me a while to work that out <laughs> So, um, yeah, so what we need to do, I'm just going to give it a quick iron. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add some wadding to uh, the... When you say wadding, do you mean the Sorry, H- the H- No, 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 because yeah. you can use wadding if you want to. Yeah, you can. If you've got a bit of wadding in your stash, you can use that as well. It's not a problem. But H640 is um, fusible, isn't it? So it's so much easier. I switched the iron on today, which is a good thing. Oh, do you not normally switch it on? No, now? I forget. 
Oh, mine was delivered yesterday. What, your little lion? Yeah, I ordered one for me, one for my niece. Oh. Um, and last Friday there was the William Morris quilt kit. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So yes, that yes. arrived yesterday as well. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, quite yeah, excited about Yeah, that flew about. out. Apparently. It was on yeah, record wasn't it? It, it flew was. out, it yeah. It was beautiful. Right. Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to still need that, aren't I? Right. Oh, got a message. Oh. Robert. Oh. <laughs> says, good morning to you both, but a big hello to John, because you're looking so good. Oh. Oh, yeah, Barbara, you look amazing too. It's her husband. It's her husband. Yeah, you're dumped now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a spare room. It's fine. <laughs> oh, dear. You should see him. His beard's huge. What do you mean? He's, he's got an, his beard's just... What do you but you said he put weight on or something. No. Well, he has, but it's because the beard's so huge. Honestly, it's massive. So do you want him to trim it? Well, I keep telling him he should. Robert, trim the beard. But then he told me off and said, I've got to stop telling him what I should, what, oh. how I should. Uh... Okay, so I'm just going to iron this wad in. Yeah. Sorry, H640. H640. Onto here. You could trim round it, I'm, which I will do. No, he says he won't trim his beard. Yeah. I'll have to go and look at his Facebook page now to have a look what the beard's like. He looks like Brian Blessed. Oh, is he? He really does. Well, he's about I'll the same height you. as Brian Blessed, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And he shouts like him as well. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, you, you're really to... painting an attractive picture here. <laughs> uh, I'll Janet shoot. says, hello, you two. I nearly missed you. Oh, bless. Luckily, two fire engines turned up for a noisy fire alarm, but there was no fire, thankfully. Oh. Oh, dear. So that's what made you turn... Oh, hang on. Uh, but it made me get up and get out of bed, so I didn't miss you. Lovely projects. Have fun today. Oh, she mum. Oh, hi, <laughs> mum. <laughs> <laughs> Love, mum. Oh, it's Tell your husband to stop flirting. He looks like... Brian Blessed. Bluto of Popeye. Oh. Yeah. I don't know who you know, is, you know the, the, the one with the black beard that looks like a, you know, he's like Popeye's arch enemy. Oh, dear. He's always trying to steal. Oh, I'll have to look him up. Carol says I don't like beards, so he'd be dumped by me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Bless. Right, so what are you doing? We're okay, so I'm just trimming off this, um, this wadding here. Yeah. Um, and then I've just ironed it on. So this is going to You're, be... Um, where did you get that cutting mat from? Uh, over there. It's a bit curved on the edge, isn't it? You haven't been looking after that one. Shall I throw it? No. <laughs> just throw it over. And then I'm just going to trim off these corners. Lovely. I had a lovely drive up this morning. Did you come all the way this morning? Yeah. How long did it take you? Um, it's an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, it's minutes. not too bad It's not then. far, no. I've been listening to a, a really good book. Oh, yeah. I like these audible ones in yeah. the car on the way up. So it's called called The Paper Paper Wife, it's called. Oh. Yeah. Setting. Claire doesn't know who Bluto is either. He's out of Popeye's, the baddie. Apparently. He always tries to steal. Is it olive oil? Yeah. Is that her name? Tries to steal oh. her. Okay, so I have put the. Oh, so you only put H forty on one of them. Oh, only on one yeah, side, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to. Now it does say in here that you can put piping on it. Right. Um. You don't have to put we piping. We didn't send you any piping cords. No, nope. piping so I'm just going to stitch this round and I'm going to leave um, about a 10 centimetre gap on the side here just so that I can turn it round the right way. Okay, lovely. And iron it. Um, She's using the mega bundle, Hannah. Just so you know, because there's one out of one and one out of the other. Just going to quickly clip these around so it keeps it in place. It's all right. Oh, you're lucky those clips are still there. I knocked them down earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah. Rosina, morning both. Just ordered the book. Fabulous shirt. Oh, you'll love job. it, Rosina. You, Rosina. It's really nice. Come on. The book's really nice. Yes, yeah, it's lots of projects. 
I can't believe I'm being slated live on TV. Have Who's a brilliant that? day, both of you. And yes, I stole you, Barbara, and you're still with me. Oh, <laughs> it's getting very personal now, isn't it? Oh, dear. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, <laughs> past nine. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'm just, I've put this. Um, it's all done with love. I've just, I've just put this um, machine on a quarter inch. Okay, series. Okay. Yeah. That's why it's always good to come in early so you can play with the machines. Yeah. I love it. This is a nice one. You were one, early, actually. were you, this morning? Was I early? No. Don't know, was I? No. No. <laughs> what time am I supposed to be? No, no, no. You weren't oh. late, late. Just a little bit, a few minutes. Oh, was I? A few minutes. Oh, that's because the sat nav, the, my phone died in the car. Okay. And I went all the way down. I just followed the signs to Redditch. Right. So to the town centre, and I thought, I'm sure I recognise these places. So I just kept on going until I recognised somewhere. Okay. And then it, by the time I'd done that, the phone had charged up enough to tell me where McDonald's was, and then I knew where I was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because you're right opposite McDonald's. Yeah. Um, my husband has refused to get his hair cut. I think he's having the menopause. He, uh, he thinks it's the 1970s again. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what Robert, maybe Robert's going through his Do you know, I don't, I don't, I think it's because um, he did his 22 years in the army <gasps> and every day they have to shave. Yeah. You know, they have to be, you yeah, know, tidy yeah. all the time. So it's a rebellion to that. So I think yeah. he's rebellious. And yeah. I also think he thinks he's a Viking. Because he's from up north. Right. No offence to people up north. No, no, They're no, all no, lovely. No. Um, but because he's from up north and he has a castle in Scotland. He, he thinks, has a castle in Scotland? Yeah, so the family have a, a castle. What, that they live in or just a ruin? Um, no, no, there, there, are, there is a family that live in it. Oh, my word. Um, he was related to Robert the Bruce. Oh, that would be um, it. And so they have this, and we went up there. It's quite a small castle. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't actually um, sell a castle. It's though, on an it? on an island, and they filmed the Monty. There's a Monty Python film where they throw vegetables and things over the side of the castle. Oh, okay. I can't remember what no. it's. I think it's the Life of Brian. Right. Um, and that was there. And they filmed it there. Oh, wow. So we went up a couple of years ago to have a look at it. It's in the port of Appin in Scotland. It's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful area. So you married to royalty then, really? Wow. Well, he likes to think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it was interesting, and then the, the, the castle's like been taken over so many times. Um, but there is a family that still live there. They have to go on, on a boat. It's a bit like um, St Michael's Mount in Cornwall. You know, oh right, you have to go on a boat to go to your house. Yeah. Wow. So I'm just gonna. I've stitched all the way around, left that um, little gap, gap, turning yeah. gap. So I'm just gonna take off the edges. So I'm just gonna oh, curve them yeah. with the pinking shears. Brilliant. Or you could snip it out if you wanted to, but I'm just going to trim those off. They nicknamed me Barb the Builder yesterday at work. The what? Barb the Builder. Bob well, the Builder is no more. We had to, um, so the soldiers have decided to move us out of, a, uh, out of an office. So we um, decided that we would rearrange our office. Oh, see, not so at I, home. No, no, no. At work, yeah. So I went in, went home at lunchtime and came back with a drill and drill bits. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, OK. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn this round the right way. Right. And then we'll give it a little iron. Which bit's this then? So this part here is going to create the top and the, the roof. bottom. Yeah, the top. So it kind of folds over. Uh -huh. You could leave it like this and make it into a pillow if you want. Yeah, it's just a pillow. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, so I'm just going to... Mega quickly. Bundle, hugely popular, just so you know. That's what Barbara's using. Oh, cracky, three things going on at the same time. So I message you first. Good morning, John and Barbara. I love the project. I'll definitely morning. do this one. Look after my bunny, John. Love her to bits. Oh. Who's Sue? So Sue, I did a, a charity cycle about five years ago. I did it with Fern Britain, actually, oh, as did well. You? Yeah. And um, we cycled round Kerala in India. Oh, did... yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we did, a, did this charity cycle and... Um, Isn't it for Robert Winston or something yes, like that? Yes, yeah, yeah, and then we went to the House of Commons and had afternoon tea oh. with him. It was really nice. Um, yeah, because Fern did a, like a, um, a diary of it on Twitter or something yeah, like that. Yeah, she did, it? yeah. I shouted at her one day because she drove, she cycled past me so full of the joys of spring. It was a hill that was like that and... I was at the back and <gasps> going oh. up this hill and she cycled by kept saying, keep going, darling. Oh. <laughs> I was like, shut up, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so um, that was the first thing we had to say. The second okay. thing was the book is in the right hand and the mega bundle is this one here with all of the fabrics in. There are two smaller bundles if you're interested, which I'll show you again, but this is the mega bundle here. One, two, three. I might have, I think I've lost a fabric. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, they're all there. They're all there. Ten fabrics. Ten There's fabrics, yeah. So much to choose from. I know. It's, it's brand new. Brand new as well. It's beautiful. Moja, good quality. And look, six, seven, ninety-one. That doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be enough, does it really? But not for Moda. Okay, so I've just ironed that round nicely, yeah. and then we'll just. Top stitch it. I'm just going to do that edge there, but you top top stitch all the way around there okay. just to give it a nice. Justine idea. thinks maybe your husband thinks he's Robert the Bruce reincarnated. Probably. Christine says, uh, "Hello, jo gorgeous John Scott and Barbara. My husband Gary. Hello. He used to have long curly hair. And my friends would joke that they couldn't tell us apart from behind, <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd say he was the better looking one. Now he's bald." And I blame his motorbike <laughs> Thank helmet. Thank goodness you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jake still wouldn't be able to tell. I blame his motorbike helmet for wearing it away. Oh, oh Christine. <laughs> right, so you've okay. top stitched around the edge. So I've just top stitched oh, okay, around right, this yeah. edge. You would top stitch all, all the way around. Edge, yeah. So this is going to go like this. Can you sort of see? So it'll curve. Right. Like that. So okay. that's going to be the top of the box. Right. And that will be the bottom. Right. Okay. So you can quilt this. Um, it does tell you in the book here how to do that if you've got a quilting guide, you know, the little metal yeah, the little rod bar that, that sits out, yeah. Um, so it will tell you how to do that in the book here. So you mark out your 45 degree angles and then you'd use your guide to stitch. But that's because they've done cross hatching, but you could do anything you, you could wanted do on straight it, lines, you? Just you do could straight do lines, squares, yeah. But obviously for today I'm not going to no, no. quilt it well no because we're whistling along we are so that's that part done then we've got our side part with the with the zip so I shall pop the zip in I'm just going to put some H640 H640 right? yeah <laughs> we'll have to think about that oh no you know, there's H640, H640. H630 as well you see ah okay um Right. Uh, Nell says, loving the shirt, John. Did you make it? My husband loved one of those. No, it's from Claudio Lugly Shirts. Go and have a look. He might have it in different colours. Uh, Dawn says, morning, all. Sorry, I'm late. Good morning. I was doing the school run. <laughs> gorgeous makes once again from... No, gorgeous makes once again, Barbara. Thank you. Is that Dawn Taylor? It is indeed. Yeah. No, What's I'm the doing that one. I'm having a brain moment. I was going to say the other word then, and then I remembered I'm not supposed to. So <laughs> brain moment. I tried to think what it was. <laughs> That's not big enough, though. Does that matter? No, because it's got a hem on it. So okay. It's fine. Should be. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yes, because you're only making the outside bit, mm -hmm. aren't you, with that, yeah. 
Uh, morning, Joanna Barbara. Back morning. in a while. Just got to go and see my two horses and my two little Dartmoor ponies. Oh, oh bless. Diana. No, you can't keep them in the house. They're not Shetlands, they're Dartmoor. Oh, do you know what I'd like in the house? What? One of those miniature pigs. No, you wouldn't. I would. I do now, who one. do I know recently? We talked about this. And they bought all these pigs thinking they were miniature pigs for their garden. <laughs> Did and none of them were miniature. They all grew into great big hogs. No. <laughs> uh, they do look like Tanya Whelan fabrics, don't they, Christine? You're right. And the colours as well. The colours are very Tanya Whelan. Okay, so I've right. just put that together. Right. Now I'm just going to just trim down the middle there. Right. Oh, you're not wasting any X640, are you? No. No. Oh. Do you think one piece of H640 would be enough? It's a metre by 90 centimetres. Yes, it would be. So the piece I brought in today was the piece I had left over from, from what we'd said from you. making that box. Right. From making that bag. Oh, okay. And from making that. And did they send one. you one of these? Just one of these? Yeah. Oh, crack, that's good. Hence why I'm being a bit stingy yeah. with it. But it does work, so Frugal, not frugal. stingy. Frugal. <laughs> Has that got H640 in it? Yes. And what's in the bottom Oh, of it? so in the bottom, it's that stiff, uh, it begins with a D. Um, Deckerville. Deckerville, that's Thank in you. the bottom of there. Okay. Thank you. Right. So, I'm going to pop the zip into this part here. Okay, now, you've got the chunky um, metallic zip, haven't you? I though? have. Ta da Yeah, one? lovely. So it's, just it's actually my zip. <laughs> I stole off my it. table. Can we not send you one of those then. No. No. Okay. Brass metal open-ended zip in white. It looks cream to me. Four forty-nine. Just make sure I've got the zipper foot in here. Oh, is it Dune Castle that Barbara owns? Dune. Do D O U N E. Could anyway, no, no, it was used in Monty Python, the Holy Grail, ah, and it was also it. Winterfell in Game of Thrones. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that. Yeah, I, thought Winter, I thought Game of Thrones was filmed in Ireland. So did I. It's in the port of Appin, so... Okay. Yeah, that's where it's... Um... So you just put your zipper foot so on? So I'm just gonna, I've just put the zipper foot on, uh -huh. and we're going to fit this in... Let's take that off, then you'll be able to see it better. Okay, okay so we're going to fit that onto the edge of here. Right. Okay, I'm going to pop a couple of pins in, uh -huh. but you can tack it in place with um, tacking stitches, if uh -huh. that's easier. We'd use better, if Becky Alexander Frost was doing it, she'd be using her quilter's tape. Oh, machine, yeah. Or glue. Yeah, only fabric glue though, yeah. not glue glue. <laughs> Super glue. No. You know. <laughs> Whatever you've got in the garret. Oh, what's that? What was that? Oh, it's the oh, is that cutting board. Cutting board. It's got upset with me because I've laid it on the floor. That's oh. what it is. Okay. Let's put that way. So I'm just going to fit. Oh, you're right. Barbara McClay. Undo it. There we are. That's better. I'm going to fit that in there. Right. right. So you're right. then. Yep, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Okay. Needle in the right place. No. There we go. Technical issue. No, no, that's fine. Sorted. There we are. So, brilliant. Okay, right. Now you'd use a cream. Yeah, yeah. Cream thread. While you're stitching down there, remember the Love to Sew at Home Accessories book has got 50, 60, 60 projects in for 10 99 
Beautiful. Lots. This is the one we're working on, but lots and lots of different projects in here. Some useful, some just decorative. There's a plique in there. There's um, free motion uh, applique. You've got different coloured rainbow pillows. You've got bags. You've got tea cozies. You've got all sorts of things in there. Really, really, really lovely book. Oh, oh you're all right. <laughs> you see that, did you? No. Okay, so that's your first half of the zip uh -huh. put in. So then we'll put the second half on. What's that whirring? Is that, that the camera? It's the camera moving. Oh. We could hear it in here, that was on. Okay. So I'm just matching up that end of the fabric yeah. there. Okay. Take that one off. Just move that um, right. Okay. Oh, that's cheeky. That one. What? What are you oh. mentioned about? Normally, when you do these. Put it upside down, that's what Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Just make sure you take your pins out. Yeah. Get them. Okay. Oh, Sylvia says, I'm a newbie to quilting tape. It's a revelation. Oh. Thanks, Becky Alexander Frost. Uh, Dawn says, I love quilting tape for installing zips into the bags. Janet says, the castle is called Castle Stalker. Castle Stalker. Like, that sounds stalking. about right. Huh? <laughs> so that sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Janet, your mum? Could be. Balance. Yeah. yeah. Message on the bottom. Hi, John. Team and Barbara. I love Hello. your calm and clear way of demoing, Barbara, says Anne in Cheshire. Oh, bless. Thank oh. you. Right. Okay. So I've put the zip in. Let's pray that it works. Yes. That's what <laughs> I was just thinking. If it doesn't, you'll have to go to a break and I'm leaving. That's it. <laughs> okay. No, she's got a three cushions and a doorstop <laughs> to do yet. I know. Oh. Oh, what have you done? I can't get the zip on now. Let me recap the bundles for you while you do that, shall I? Then yeah, you, yeah that's right. good. Mega bundle, mega bundle, mega bundle. Brand new today. You get five metres of fabric. You're only paying, well, you, you get half metre for free, basically. So 67 91 beautiful colours in there. Really, really lovely colours. And very good quality. Moda, always really, really. You wouldn't expect this to be a Moda. Oh, you just want it to work, we're fine. There you go, Mega Bundle, £67.91. Little bundles now. Now that one has to come off there and go on. Right, okay, so I'm doing this one first, the orange bundle first, because it's here. Right, one, two, three, four, five. There you go, that's the orange, the red bundle, they've called it, I think. So I'd say it was more orangey, wouldn't you, than the red? Uh, yeah, I would say it's more. Coral. Coral, that's what she'd call it. Mm. Diane says morning, everyone. Good morning. Right, that's one bundle there, two and a half metres. But also, we've got the, the more popular, it's the lime green bundle. See, I said, didn't I? You look lovely in my house, this lime green. There you go. <clears throat> you still get some of the orange in there, but mainly lime green. £36.99, two and a half metres of fabric. And then there's complimentary bundle, which is incredibly popular. Now, it says in the graphics it's Moda. It's not Moda, it's Rose and Hubble, but it goes with the Moda. So it's paprika, apple, vanilla, and salmon. All the food stuffs. 
Okay, get on with it now, Barbara. Okay. What okay. are you doing next? Right, so I've put the zip in. Woohoo! Woo it worked. Yeah. Um, and I'm now going to put the back on. Right. Um, so what we need to do is to just iron this little bit here because that part there is going to sit on there. Right. And then I'm going to stitch it. And will that be hand stitched on that? It one? will do, yeah. yeah. We've only got 10 minutes left, just okay. so Okay. You know. Actually, oh, let's do it this way. That would be easier. And you could actually take that part off if you want to. I'm going to open it, but not take it off. Right, okay. So. Just pin that so it doesn't... And you're going to sew round that, are you? And I'm just going to stitch round this part here. Right. Okay. And then when, when I when when I've turned it round the right way, then I'll iron it so that it gives that nice, Crisp neat finish, edge yeah. on there. So I'll do that first. Mm -hmm. We just change your foot back to the normal foot. Yeah. Uh-huh. The foot doesn't come up on this one. The what? The foot doesn't come up on this one. What, does yours do it automatically at home? Mm. Mm. It's gone up in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it might do. I just haven't worked out how it comes That's up not yet. That's that one there. No. No, I've got that machine. round. Mm -hmm. Now the purpose of the piping or doing it this way is so that when you stitch it all together you um, you don't have any raw edges on the inside of the the bag. Yeah yeah I don't like that when you see a bag and it's lovely from the outside you unzip yeah. it it's got raw edges inside. Just don't look in that one. <laughs> Which one? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> That was my 10 o'clock make last oh, night, no. that was. <laughs> oh dear, Lo feels rotten, she's gone back oh, to bed. Oh, get better soon. Have you done a lateral flow test, Lo? Okay. Now. I'm just going to trim. Actually, I might tuck that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just be careful when you're ironing, when you've got these metal teeth that you don't scratch if you've got an iron with a non-stick oh, bottom. Oh, good little tip. Though, just yeah. be careful because otherwise you'll scratch the bottom yeah. of your iron. I mean, you could use you a could nylon use... zip if you wanted to. Just this is the only zip we've got here today. You could use a, you know, like a nice nylon zip. Mm -hmm. You could use a nice, or you could use one of the, um, just use a tea towel or something, just to go over the top. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, it's a pressing cloth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm just turning that as I go, just mm -hmm. to, but you would. And then you'd hand stitch along You'd hand there, stitch you? along that little part there. Lovely. Um, to hide that, and then yeah. you do the same with the top part. Right. How long have we got? Not long. Right. I won't do that bit, but you do exactly the same with that part yeah. there. 
and then join the two together. So when you zip it together, you've got a completely concealed unit. You've got a completely unit, concealed yeah. unit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> do your bundle. Just do your do bundle. Your bundle. Do your mega right bundle. <laughs> no, no, it's going to work, isn't it? No. Uh, mega bundle, £67.91. pence. You get 10 metres of fabric, uh, 5 metres of fabric, sorry, 10 different fabrics there. You're only paying for nine. Very popular, brand new today. Lovely. Uh, raspberry, no, not raspberry, strawberry and rhubarb. <laughs> And then the complimentary bundle doesn't mean free, it means goes with. Coordinating is what it's supposed to say. Oh, yes, because it's spelled as in a free one, that one. Who did this then? Who made this bundle? £13.99. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. Oh no, Hannah needs another coffee. She only had two so far this morning. Oh, I'll go and get her one in a minute. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you doing now? Then? So what I'm doing now is I have folded this in half mm -hmm. lengthways just to mark out the centre part of the, um, the front. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing the same with the zip. So I folded that in half. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've just marked out again where that centre part is, which is here, there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to join those two up. So be right sides together, whichever side your fabric is. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pin this round like so. Right. And the same this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to stitch all the way around here. Right. Okay. On the machine. Obviously. On the machine, yep. Yeah. Could hand stitch it if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I think, I mean, you could do, but for strength, I think you need to do it on the machine. Look. Just go slowly around that corner. Oh. Put it down. Put it down. Doesn't do it itself. Quite easy going around that corner, then, isn't it? It's not too bad. You could use a walking foot as well if you wanted to. Yeah. So that's going through all right, isn't it? It's stitching done. lovely. Needed. Isn't it? Okay. Right. So then. That will be the bottom of your swim box. Okay, lovely. Okay. So, we'll do the same again. I'm taking this off again. Yeah. Obviously, yours will all be finished. It will all be finished, yeah. <coughs> so, we do exactly the same on the top half. Oh, I okay. see. So, just mark out the centre. So, yeah. we've got it in the right place. Centre again there. And then we'll join those two up in the same way. It looks quite complicated. It has got a um, 
Oh, in the book they have like little cotton reels. So like one's quite an easy one. Yeah. Two's sort of a medium, and then three is a hard, um, sort of a more difficult mm -hmm. one. But I I wouldn't say this is that that. Difficult. I guess if you're making the piping and things, it would be. Yeah. You know, um, it does tell you in the front of the book as well. There's lots of um, parts in the book that says if you want to make the bias binding, you can go to page such and such. Oh, that's good. If you want to put the zip in, it'll tell you where. I think it's page 26 where you can. It'll give you a step by step on how to put the zips in. Okay. So there's quite a lot of. Um, hints and tips in the book as well. What page did you say? 20, about 26. 26, so. I think it is. If I remember rightly. 26 finishing touches, inserting a zip, piping mm -hmm. with and without cord, making sewn in frills. Little projects there. So I'm presuming what they've done on this is taken lots of different designers and picked like things from their collections. Because I'm sure so. this next project here is an Alistair project, isn't it? The doorstop. I think they've done what Search Press sometimes do. Oh, is it from the... Yeah, it's from the Search Press Celebration collection, isn't it? No, no, no. The Search Press, when they did 50 years, they did like a collection of books, didn't they, where they took lots of, um, not the Google, not the, no, not the search press, but um, I think what they've done is, I think that's a Debbie Shaw pillow. Do you know what I mean? I think they've taken all their top designers and just taken um, a culmination. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. I like that bolster cushion in there, actually. Oh, it's Hannah really likes good. a bolster cushion. Yeah, I like bolster cushions, too. Yeah, they're not very good for... Oh, they're not very good for a bit comfortable, are they? Yeah, there's, that's one of Alistair's, isn't it? The teddy bear made of hexes as well. Um, what am I looking for? A bolster cushion. Oh, actually, what's the time? We have to stop in a minute. I'll stop indulging myself. The <laughs> bolster pillow's lovely, Hannah. Look. You can make that out of some of your um, Tudor pink fabric. Anyway, so what you say? Anyway, oh, so there you go. What I've done. There's a big is hole. I've, yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> so I've stitched that top part yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then once the, the top and the bottom are stitched together, what, they, what you then need to do is stitch the side piece in. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do it this end. Yeah, you don't need to do it because we're in that time. Oh, Just okay. Tell me how you do it. So stitch it there. Yeah. Hang on. That's my tummy rumbling, you can hear everybody. Let's just pop a couple of bits in there. Oh, okay. There we go. If I turn it round that way, I've just pinned it in yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you'll see it there. How brilliant. What so you see, I've never seen one made like that before, and it's really easy. It's really isn't it? easy. Honestly, I don't I they have put a three in the book, but I don't think I it's... think the three will be if you put pipe because if you're yeah. piping in it, you do have that added skill you level, do. don't you? And then you have your little bit of um batting on the top so you can put your little handle on how you brilliant. can you use, use some webbing on just that. some webbing yeah. yeah um there it also tells you in the book just to add some little bits of um oh, can elastic you see that, can you see there yeah There's some like little pieces of colored elastic around the sides where you can just slot all of your oh, nice. bobbins and things make in. a nice makeup bag and it things really like that, would it? yeah, yeah. It's quite nice, actually. Beautiful. Thank you very much indeed. Now, you're okay. back in an hour. I am. So, you're, you're doing a cushion, a cushion, and a door draft excluder. I am, yes. Good luck on that one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, so have a lovely hour off. Uh, now, just recapping, the book is ten ninety nine. Uh, I can't tell you how many of these have gone. Way over half the stock of today's stock has gone. Oh, oh, a lot more than that. There's only 14 left once you've all checked out. Only 14 left. There's an awful lot in basket, so during the break, make sure you check out. We've got a mega bundle of the Moda fabric. Ma mega bundle is the most popular of all the bundles. Well, you all love a Moda, don't you? And you love a, fr a freebie because you get a one half metre for free. That's gorgeous. So that's your mega bundle there. Now, you will see this fabric appearing in Barbara's next hour when it shouldn't have been, but it's in the next hour. 
Rightio. And then the two little bundles. Do you want to do that three little bundles? Sorry, very quickly. So this is the uh, rhubarb one. No, the red one. Red one, red one. Rhubarb. Oh, I just showed you a mega bundle. There was a fabric missing. That's in the mega bundle as well, that one. Just so you know. Oh, no. What are you doing, John? That goes... <laughs> 36 99 that's the red version. We've got the green version. They're loving the lime. They, you are loving the lime. Not they, you are loving the lime. <laughs> that looks really weird there. Let me move that. There you go. 36 99 And the complimentary spelt incorrectly and should say coordinating bundle. We'll have a word. I'll have a word. Gorgeous. Uh, salmon, paprika, apple, vanilla. Thirteen ninety nine. Half meter each. Now it says Moda in the graphics. It's actually Rose and Hubble, but it's to go with the Moda. Loads of you loving that, but make sure you check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Okay, there are teacups as well. If you want those, they're underneath on the show deals. Da, 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 da. Right. Oh, H640. Sorry, I didn't hear you say that. There you go, H640. One piece is enough to do a lot of projects. Yeah. 9.99 is a metre by 90 centimetres. Don't go anywhere. I've got beautiful fabrics coming up after this. Short break. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. We'll see you soon. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. 
I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was, I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios studios whilst the show was on it was really really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine I am one of the longer running um, guests now on sewing street goodness knows how that happened but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my sewing street journey. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Beautiful fabrics, indeed, indeed. We've got Arna, we've got Kaif, we've got that, be I don't know what that, oh, I can't wait, that's, oh, they're, they're all beautiful. Absolutely beautiful they are. Let's just, now, going to start with Morgan Blue Pink. These are beautiful. Pink, blue, blue, pink. Look, 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 look. Aren't they just... F oh, what? I didn't see the grey one. Oh, that's lovely. Look. Oh, that one's... Now, is that one different to that one? Yeah. Beautiful collection, this. So, M Morgan, pink and blue. Uh, now, now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right, you must, you can't use this fabric for to sell. Look, license required for commercial use. I think it'll be fine if you're making one or two for a church bazaar. I just don't think you can make them for... John Lewis's or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? They're just stunning. I don't know where they're from, though. There's no information on it. I normally rely on the selvedge a little bit. Right, hang on a sec. Let's just... Start. So it's a mega bundle. Three and a half metres. One, two, three, four. Five. 
Okay, Turnofsky for QT Fabrics is the designer. They're very subtle and beautiful, aren't they? They will be sure to delight, it says on their bump. Softly sophisticated, very like Hannah, it says. <laughs> oh my word, they're beautiful. Look at those. Stunning, stunning, stunning. That, make, that, that looks like it's got, it's not textured, the grey one, but it looks like, you know how crepe looks? It looks like the background's crepe on that one. Then you've got the pinks and the blues. Look how soft and gentle that pink is there. So have I done the pattern too big for the, there you go. Look how soft that one is. So that one comes with a pink background with a gold leaf and a white background with a blue leaf. Then we've got the bigger flowers there on the blue and the grey. Then we've got like a corn flowery one, a medium sized one and a big one. Oh, they're lovely. I think these are stunning. Oh, are you? See, I'm seeing weddings. I don't know why I'm just seeing weddings. Like dressmaking, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, obviously we've got them by the half metre. This is only half metre. No, this is a bundle where you get half metre of each one for £48.93. pence. But I am seeing, because we, we can do them by the half metre later on, I'm seeing kind of wedding, not wedding dresses, but dresses to wear to weddings and... Turnofsky. Oh, see, so now this Turnofsky here, it's been going since, what, 1940? Where did you say it was? Tel Aviv, right? Known for its papers, its luxury papers. So I'm wondering if these are prints from uh, papers that they've done. Um, very, very select who they sell through, they say, apparently. Oh, we're very lucky then. Oh, isn't it beautiful? So I've got all of these by the half metre, have I? That wasn't said with very much confidence then. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Got a lovely feel to them as well. <laughs> Hannah's just gone, I was right. I made her panic a little bit. That's so lovely. It's got an unusual texture to it. I'm not, not I'm going to say unusual, I don't mean in a bad way. But it's got, it's got like kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it. Really luxurious feel to it. Look at that, that's just, Beautiful, isn't it? No, it's it's. I'd say it was um, a normal quilting weight fabric. This. Okay, well, if you search Morgan, um, comes up with heavier weight fabrics. These are not heavier weight. These are your your dressmaking quilting weight fabrics. Love this one, isn't it beautiful? So now uh, you're thinking get, you're getting half a meter in there. It's not that's not a fat quarter. Just so you know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Forty-eight pounds and ninety-three p for three and a half meters. So hang on. Uh, well, I'm just trying to work out. Uh, uh, hang on. Seven, seven to forty-nine. Yeah. So it's um, it's uh, six ninety-nine for half a meter, is it? Is it Hannah? No, I asked a question, please. Is it? Thank you. Yes, but you're busy chattering in the meantime. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, um, Hannah's just received her coffee. Oh, well, it's what did you say? 
It's a third coffee from a coffee shop today. Right, we'll come back to that, doing it in half meter in a minute. <gasps> oh, now this will be considered purchase. This will be, but oh, right, 230 pounds. Look how much fabric there is. 16 meters, but you're only paying for 15. And this is relatively new, this, isn't it? Anna Maria Horner, love always mega bundle. Now, I've seen a couple of these fabrics. Only been on air twice before. Look, so there you go. 76.93 ways. So you pay 76.90 today. Oh, be paid for by Christmas. Be paid for by Christmas. <gasps> Shall we have a look at these then? Now, now, I've got to warn you, some of these fabrics are no longer available by the half metre. So, look. <gasps> Now, is it possible to find the... I don't know if the... Uh, I don't know how you can do this. If the true... If the president's dress... No, start that again. The president's wife's dress was made out of something from this range. It's, it's on... Do you follow Anna Maria on Instagram? Oh, my lordy. These are divine. Absolutely divine. Oh, look at the echinaceas as well. Oh, now this is the one I've seen before because this comes in another colourway, doesn't it? That's the only one I've seen from this range. She's done the echinaceas before in another collection, but not in these colours. Look at that. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, oh, is this this one? Oh, no. Right, she's done this one before. I love this one. Well, I say she's done it before. She did a quilt kit. Do you remember she did a quilt kit? And that came down the two panels of the quilt. It, imagine a dress out of that. Oh, maybe she'd put in a story. Oh. Never mind. It was green anyway, the dress she made for them. Don't worry, don't worry. I just know she was so happy that her, uh, her fabric had been used to make... It was either Trudeau or Macron... Um, the wife of had a dress made that very simple shift dress, but it looked amazing. And oh, look at that! I love that echinacea. Oh my, that's bold. Well, I mean, it's a fantastic collection, isn't it? If you think about it, all that you're getting in here. There's your echinaceas again. Oh, that's glorious. Now, in the mega bundle, obviously, you get half a meter of each of these. Oh, look. oh, this is just—they're just joyful, aren't they? These fabrics. What I love as well, within one collection, you're getting so many different uh, types of print, aren't you? Look at that. Oh, look. Oh, I'm wondering if that almost the, her dress was made out of. Then you've got your gym. Oh, look. So you, remember, you're going to get 32 different fabrics in here. 32. Oh, look at that one. Now, for some reason, that reminds me of my nan. So beautiful, isn't it? That one's called Overachiever. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know. Let me look at what that one was called then. cut it with don't worry don't worry yeah oh wrong way. oh look at those isn't it weird they're all not weird but they're all completely different but how well do they all work together oh. okay if you do follow her on instagram social climber that's what this one's called here it is. Look. But look at that. Why I love Badger Instagram is that her fact. She's got seven children. What's so fearful about that? That's from Sad Music. But look. So it's her life. It's a, she just moved into a new house as well. Her whole life. Everything. It's just beautiful. There she is. There she is. There she is. Yeah, that's her.
Oh, look. And here is the fun I had with the August stack of a plea case story club that I shared with you yesterday. Snipping and stitching. Oh, how love. Oh, look, I like that. Look, it's me. Like <laughs> That's me. That's my Instagram. Oh. I think I'm on telly. But how weird. How is it, is, is it come up because you're using your Instagram and that we're friends on there? I was going to say, isn't it funny that out of all those people, it's got my name come up? Oh, it's cats. <laughs> So Hannah never uses anything of her own, just using cats. <gasps> look, look, look. Now I know it's a considered purchase. I know it is, but what? Oh, Derek. We haven't heard from Derek in weeks, have we? That blue on white would make a refreshing shirt. Oh, Derek, you're on the last collection. I'm... All right, I'll be quiet then. I'm being overexcitable again. I'll go back to being boring. No, it's fine. It's fine. Good morning, John. Lovely shirt. Oh, I spend so much money when you're on. Oh, Welsh Mary. Buy this. It's beautiful. No, I'm, I'm enjoying it. <gasps> I think they are just exquisite. Now, remember, not every, not all of these fabrics available by the half metre. You're getting a whole metre for free. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That collection is divine. Obviously, it's considered, but you're... Right, OK, you're getting 16 metres of fabric, remember. You are getting 32 different fabrics, half a metre of each. So it's a lot of fabric. Oh, well, imagine how gorgeous that's going to look in your stash. We haven't heard from Carol recently, the one that wants me to stroke it. Well, I'm stroking this one, Carol, if you're watching or not. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh! <gasps> We're not doing any of them by the half metre today, are we? You need to go to the... So, if you need any of these by the half metre, you need to go to the website. Not today's show, because they're not in today's show, are they, Hannah? No. So, you need to go into the main web shop and put in Arna Maria and see what there is, because not everything's going to be left in there. Well, I know. I know that these aren't all available. <gasps> right, and there are only eight mega bundles left. Are we won't be able to make any more. We won't be able to make any more of these. Oh, my. Look at this. Just if you just got the echinaceas, right? They're just the echinaceas. Oh. Yeah, all seasons, all occasions, all cut. But you know what? If you put them all together, they're going to work. If you, put, if you make a big... Okay, Pam and Nikki Lynn Tot's patterns. Can you imagine some of those patterns out of that book? Oh, the heart one's in, Anna Maria. The heart one is in, Anna Maria. Right, let's just do this next. So that's that one. Yes, I think a lot of design... Well, she's very, very popular. She's like a designer's designer, isn't she? A lot of designers love using her stuff. Oh, there's another, there's another um, echinacea there. I'm just putting them into their houses. So you've got overachiever there. Yeah, sorry, I'm being... Over, I'm being... Um, yeah, this is me like I'm, if it's just arrived at my house and I'm just sorting it out now. Yeah, so when Hannah got a new fridge, everything had its place. It's changed now. It's all different now. It's just thrown in now. She's still, oh, there's another recognition. She's got boxes, but half of them are empty. Oh, they're just a delight. I'm sorry, I'm being over what's it, but I love, I mean, I love Anna Maria anyway. I think she's so talented. But I think the colours in here are just adorable. Right, that's that one, that's that one. Isn't it funny, look, the one completely different, that's like one of her cross-stitch patterns, isn't it? Love it. Love this one. I'll open that one in a minute. Right, hang on, does that one match that one? Now, this is where I come unstuck a little bit. There's that one, that one, and that one. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh, there's another cross stitch one there. Right. I'm just going to open this one. This is the one that's drawing me most. Oh, look. You can't buy this one by the half meter. This is only available in the mega bundle, this one. Aren't they just beautiful? 
Not, yeah, well, you better make a lot of cushions, Hannah, if you've got the mega bundle. Oh, you just want that one as a cushion. Yeah, yeah, you can cut out from others and applique them onto there. Uh, June, uh, June says, Anna Maria has such a fantastic eye for design and colour, doesn't she? Because you wouldn't think, sometimes I kind of think, oh, what's she doing? What's she doing with that? And yet works so beautifully, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, look. I know, I understand it's considered. But if you can, if you can afford it and want it, get it on split pay. Get it on your split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. Look at those colours. Imagine what that's going to look like in your stash cupboard. But you're getting a metre for free. Well, if you think, so that would make it £246, wouldn't it? Beautiful. And it's only one PMP for the whole day, remember? If you went to the post office with that, Yeah, now we will not be able to create once these uh, are there eight, did you say? Once these eight have gone, right, that's it. That's it. There will be no more of these bundles. Have a think about it. I don't want to uh, um do any uh, what's it called? Pressure. What pressure? Undue pressure. Don't do any undue pressure, but that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay. <gasps> Right, now I've got two cave bundles. Oh, there's only two of this bundle left. Lulu's at Ali Pally, Knit and Stitch Show. Lots of people there. Um, have you seen Alison Marion? Marion Alison, she's there. Right, so this is cave. There's only two of this bundle left. £89.88. It's all about colour this morning. And now we love cave, we love cave, but I just want to say. Oh, that's my tummy rumbling. Can you hear it at home or not? I've eaten my strawberries there. Um, so uh, how many metres was in that bundle there, did we say? 16 metres. Okay, I'm just, just saying, just saying, right? But look, there's only two of these left. Can't make any more. Just stunning, aren't they? Look at that, look at those beautiful flowers. <gasps> you see, now, uh, remember I used to have my Indian princess bedroom upstairs? I wanted to paint, have the walls painted like this. Just one wall, not the whole bedroom, but you know what I mean? Really lovely, and I wanted somebody to come and just hand paint them, do you know what I mean? So they were a little bit uneven and a little bit, like that, really. I can't afford Cave to come painting, though, for me. Well, is this a Cave one? Yeah, it is. It is a Cave one, this one. Oh, we've got limited, limited. <laughs> uh, this fabric and show is so uplifting during my DIY break for the hour in our 1887 house with very high ceilings and only a five foot two lap. Oh, hang on. Five foot two, ladder fearful and 70. Need all the fabric joy. Pamela, you be careful. Five foot two on a ladder. And not, not to mention the 70, but good for you, girl. Stay safe. Oh, now, didn't I read somewhere, here somewhere, that if you're on a ladder over a certain height, you have to be put have a safety harness on or something. Where did I see that? Did I dream that last night? I might have dreamt that last night. I might have dreamt that last night. I had very vivid dreams last night. Oh, all sorts. Colour, people, Harvey. I think that's because Harvey kept waking me up and licking my face. Harvey's a cat. Harvey's a cat, in case you don't know. Just to clarify. Okay, fight, fight, fight. There's too many of you want that bundle. And we won't be able to do it again. It's up to you now. I've done all I can to help. <sighs> Deep sigh. Right, I've got another cave bundle here. Bright and bold orange hues. Fish, oranges. We oh, don't remember that one at all. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, four and a half metres. £67.41. Oh, here we go. Um, Diane says, Hi, John. I made a bag out of Anna Maria when I first started sewing, when I watched Sewing Quarter. Oh, Diane. She, was, she used to come on Sewing Quarter, didn't she? I wonder if she's... Uh, now that we travel's allowed, I wonder if she'll come over. We can go, we can go to America now. Yeah. Woo! This one's a Philip Jacobs one. Dorothy, this is called. Uh, June says, Little Misty, she's only seven months old. She bought me three birds, a mouse and two worms. Oh, no. No, well, Harvey's not allowed out, so he can't bring me things like that. No, no, he's going back again next Sunday. Well, no, Dulcie's finished on um, Matilda. She started a new film now, I think. Well, she's about to start a new film. Lovely, £67.41. pence For your bright and bold. Oh, this one's not limited. Oh, it is now, it is now, it is now. Because you can't change the titles then, is that right? Okay. Right, yo. Now, this is brand new fabric. It's not a bundle. Oh, this is the cotton canvas. This one's cotton canvas. Completely different, but it's brand new. Okay, game on icons. Today's, we might sell out of this today. It might be in a, in a bundle somewhere to do a project. I'm saying it's cotton canvas, but it's actually, I'd say it wasn't as thick as our normal canvas. So I'd say it was a twill rather than a canvas or a drill. iPad case, dungarees, cushion. What's a gamer cushion? If you're sitting behind your back, you won't be able to see it. Isn't a gamer cushion when you have it on your knee? I don't know. I don't do gaming, so I don't know. Um, now, if you're gonna, yeah, if you're gonna make a quilt out of it, just think about what fabric you're going to quilt with it. The what one? Cream one now. It's exactly the same. Okay, cream. Oh no, this one's more of a limited color palette on this one. It's, it's more subtle, this one. Try again. Now, you see, that's quite not quite right, because that's not 100%, is it? Backpack. Let's go, game over, try again. High score. Becky Alexander Frost, have you ever used this fabric? It's brand new here. You might not have seen it yet. Oh, yeah, she'll have done one of her backpacks in this, won't she? It's only 6 99 half a metre. Oh, both tape measures have gone, it seems. Well, I can't blame anyone else because it was only me in yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, 44 inches. <laughs> They're tulips, not daffodils. Hannah went, all oh, those daffodils nearly went for a Burton then, John. I just came back and said, they're two lip-top daffodils. 6 99 far for metre. Game on icons. Oh, I see. Game on icons on cream. Oh, I'm not very down with the kids when it comes to gaming. Hannah is. Lovely. 
Have you watched, have you watched um, Manda and Myrtle? Mandy and Myrtle? Right, it's Amanda Oldham, home with her grandma. Her grandma moves in with her, right? So it's, it's kind of like, um, it's not a real grandma because the grandma's Keith Lemon. Right, oh, do I mean Keith Lemon? Who's the actor that plays all those parts? But it's him anyway. And um, I've kind of watched the first one thinking, oh, this will be horrible. I hate, I'll hate this one. If that's really Amanda Holden's house, she gets paid an awful lot of money, I'm telling you now. Oh, it's an exquisite house in West London. It must be worth like 10 million, I imagine. Anyway, 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 I started watching thinking I'm going to hate this. I actually watch it and laugh out loud. And I've watched, I've binge watched all the episodes that have been so far. And now I can't wait for the next one to drop or whatever they call it. Anyway. I don't know where it comes from. I don't understand. But anyway, I'm waiting for it to download then. I don't know what it's called. Oh, I was right, was I? Mega Bundle. I've got these by the half meter. I'll be doing by the half meter now for you. £48.93. pence. Pink and blue fabric bundle from Morgan. £48.93. pence. Beautiful mega bundle. By the half metre? No. Ending 62 or ending 73? This one has been very, very popular on pre-order. Now, this is where, in the bundle, you get half a metre of each. This is now where it's your chance to buy off the bolt. So if you want 10 metres, you can have 10 metres. 6 99 for half a metre. I spent weeks and weeks and weeks telling you how the prices are going to go up. Uh-uh. This is Morgan. Oh, it's just called Morgan Blue Floral. No, I wonder what they're going to call the other blue florals then. I think this was a Ryan. I think it's one of Ryan's last ones. Six ninety nine. He put a picture of a coat that he was going to buy. Or it was a, a what's it? Um, vote. So he said, "Should I go back and buy this?" And I went, "No," like that. Ninety seven percent of people said yes. <laughs> I might be the only one, yeah, that said no. Six ninety nine for half a meter. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you going to make out of it? Oh, a cosmetics bag. Emma, Emma just says kitchen stuff normally. I don't think so. Something to do with the tea party, she said. A cat. Beautiful, 6 99 for half a metre, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric, 100% cotton. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, next is I've got 13 and 73. Oh, is that the same fabric? It is, isn't it? Look how different it looks just by using different colours. Which one would you like to do first? This one's called Packed Floral. Imaginative. There you go. Uh, Morgan Pink Packed Floral Fabric. I wonder what the wonder what they really did called them when they drew them. No, 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 no. It's fine. It wasn't a hint to go and find them. I'm just wondering. Very pretty, though, isn't it, that one? Six 
6.99 for half a meter. Don't get used to these prices because they're I'm telling you now. Did they, um, I think, on Vanessa Feltz, on the news on Vanessa Feltz, they said an average gas bill is going to go up to £3,000 a year. I haven't turned my heating on yet. I've cooked something in the oven for my tea and then I leave the oven door open. After it's finished, obviously. That, yeah. 6 dollars Beautiful. The one, um, the one, uh, well, I, uh, you put a jumper on, but don't wear flip-flops around the house. I need to buy some nice, this is really going to age me now. I need to buy some nice slippers. Oh, Hannah's already got her nice slippers. Fluffy pink ones. I don't want fluffy pink ones. This is blue packed floral. Oh, have they got them in the bra shop? Boy slippers. And how much are they? Oh, Six ninety nine. Hannah goes into the bra shop so often now they give her free eggs when she goes in. Six ninety nine. Packed floral on blue. Uh, lovely. Next, please. The vine in blue and the vine in pink. This, this is one Derek wants a shirt out of. This is beautiful. It's very, very popular. I remember it's, you're buying it by the half metre. There you go. Oh, Hannah Singh is the border on a quilt. Oh, just a blue and white quilt. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Oh, hang on. Borders and cornerstones. Well, will you see them? Sashing in white. Oh, be careful. You may be offered cosy toe ankle slippers. Oh, I don't even know what they are, Caroline. <laughs> Do we sell them on pavers? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm on with Sheila. I'm, I'm up there next week. Oh no, hang on, the 18th. When's that? The week after. Sheila's the my model. My, 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 my model. I'll have to learn to speak properly before I go back up there. You need handmade wool socks. Keeps you toasty. Linda, I've got some, but I slipped down the stairs wearing them. Six, six ninety nine. Mm? I have a fall if I wear those. This is lovely, isn't it? Can you take pictures of the slippers? There's only one style. <clears throat> oh no, they've got to be proper slippers. They want sliders. Yeah, isn't that called a slider? Or a mule. It's called a mule. Mule. I don't want mules. Yeah, I fall out of a mule. Unless they're from pavers, of course, because they cut them curve the back so your hands don't, your feet don't fall out. Right, I've got them in blue and I've got them in silver. Blue. Hannah seeing a little girl's dress. Six ninety nine for half a metre. What's the matter? He was in, uh, um, we talk about somehow we've got a Devil Wears Prada now. Um, and Hannah likes the boy, poor old Steph, her boyfriend, likes the boyfriend. He's, he's isn't he in um, Mamma Mia as well? If you use a hot glue gun and put dots on the soles of your socks, they won't slip on the stairs. Thank you. 6 99 
Oh, not the same one. Who? The Mamma Mia one. Here you go. This isn't blue. Oh, is this blue? Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, this is grey. What else has he been in? I can't show you the picture, but he's been in something else as well, hasn't he? Hannah really, really fancies the Bryce Devil West Prada, but what else has he been in? Do his IMBD thing. Later. No. Six ninety nine for half a metre. Fabulous. It's grey tossed flowers. I'd call it silver rather than grey, to be honest with you. Lovely. Right, so now just recap the mega bundle of that and then I'll show you the bundle of uh, coordinating fabric that we've got. There's your mega bundle. Beautiful, aren't they? £48.93. pence. Now, I've got a coordinating slash complementary bundle, not complementary free, which goes beautifully. Now, on the website, this looks awful. You get blue, pink, grey and white. I don't think they're the actual names. White. Light grey, white, powder pink. No, powder blue and light pink. Subtle, beautiful bundle. Uh, on the website, it looks a bit... Oh, yes, look on the website, right? They all look grey. Hang on, we'll just show you. Yeah, look. See, it's not, it's not the best, is it? These are the colours you're getting. Baby quilts. I'd want a green in there for or green or a yellow, I think. No, that's my own personal, that's all. Oh, hang on, so we've not called this complimentary or coordinating. Blue, pink, grey and white fabric bundle. They're all Rose and Hubble. No, no, yes, 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 Rose and Hubble. Our core fabrics. For thirteen pounds and ninety six pence. Gorgeous. Oh, we haven't done that one yet. Okay. Arnhem oh I'm gonna put it in there anyway. Anna Maria. I've got eight of these, I've got eight of these, and seven people have it in their basket. Not adding any undue pressure, that's the word I was looking for, wasn't it? Undue pressure, but this, I just want this. I just want this. It's just stunning, isn't it? Do you want me to quickly go through, should we do it from the top, Emma, and then I can just do it? Oh, hang on, there you go. Look at these, look at these. They're just exquisite fabrics. You get all of these, you get a whole metre for free. The patterns and the colours and the variety is just sensational. I've got eight of them and seven people have got it in their baskets. Remember, it's not yours till you check out. Look at that. Beautiful colours. Social Climber, that one's called. Oh, right, there are now nine people got it in their basket. So one of you, when you come to check out, it will tell you, sorry, sold out. Oh, this, this is just, look at that. Look at that. It's strange, isn't it? Exciting. You get by colour and the way it's put together. Then these echinaceas, these in a project on their own would be amazing, wouldn't they? Look. Oh, love, love that one. How fantastic. Now, I understand it's a considered purchase. Use the split pay. That's what it's there for. 
Uh, you don't pay any interest whatsoever. Three split pays of £76.90. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. But more people have got that in their baskets than we've got stock. And we cannot ever make it again. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. That's all I'm going to say. Right, one last bundle. I've never seen this before. Again, these aren't all available. Some of these are only available in here. It's nine and a half metres. Oh, get half a metre free. That one says, get half a metre free. Look at them. They're, I'll do the same again from the top and then I'll waft a few of them. They're like, spl oh, look. So now this is Moda Fanciful Forest. Aren't they just completely different to all the other ranges we've had in this hour? Completely different. Oh, see the trees get bigger and smaller. That's little apples and flowers and things. Oh, I'll put that one to one side. I love that one. How beautiful are these? Oh, they're getting even bigger, look. Or oh, they clouds. Oh, it's getting even bigger. Oh. Aren't they? Ch oh, look. These are adorable, aren't they? Have we made, have we used this in a project yet? Oh, did she? Oh, yes, I see what I mean, yeah. Not an actual skirt. <gasps> Look at these. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Delphine used it in her Dresden lady uh, skirt dress pattern. Beautiful. Hmm? I'll just show you this blue tree one before I go. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? Really fun, these colours. Fanciful Forest by Momo. Yeah, by Moda. It's not me making it up. It's called by Momo. It's not me saying Moda. It's like a Momo. Come here, Momo. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, have any of the Anna Maria people checked out? What is the matter? More people adding it to their baskets, but nobody checking out. I know, I understand it's considered. We cannot make it again. I adore it. I love it. I've never seen it before, and I adore it. You can get it on split pay. Uh, that's what it's there for. Three, pa uh, is it three? Yeah, three payments of 76 90 It'd be paid for by Christmas. Imagine all the fun you're going to have making things like this. It's all about mindfulness. Oh, and of course, Sunday is World Mental Health Awareness Day, remember? I've got Janice in. She's enough to cheer anyone up, hasn't she? She's in the 8 o'clock I don't know if she knows it, but she's on the 8 o'clock show on Sunday. 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. I'm not quite sure why she's on so early. £230.70. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Love it, love it, love it. I can only show it to you. I can't click the button for you. Okay, am I going for a break or am I doing something else? Uh, Barbara's back after the break because she's making this and this and this. She's used the lime green from the last hour in next hour, just so you know. I'll see you in four minutes with Barbara from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. 
You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page miss the live show don't worry we recorded it for you never miss out on your favorite presenters guests and makes ever again Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Barbara mclay has been very, very busy this week. Very busy indeed. She's made this. She's made this. And she's made this. I've got the patterns and bundles for all of those, plus one extra, this one. So let me start, let me start, let me start. So each, right. 
Elephant cushion. I thought it was called nursery. Okay. Elephant nursery cushion kit. Don't know where the nursery comes from. Oh, okay. So you get half a metre of the pink. You get the instructions. You get half a metre of the pink. You get a fat quarter of the cream. And you get the panel. Oh, there you go. So they're the elephants, they're the flowers, that's the grass, they're the balloons, that's the daddy elephant earlobe. Everything you need, all on that, on, on that, um. It was on yesterday, that could be why. Okay. Okay, so 19.99, you get everything you need for the front and the back of that pillowcase. You will need some bonder web. And you will need some bond web. Instructions on their own. Here. All the templates are in there, look. Everything you need, plus the sewing instructions. £9.99. £9.99. So the cream is obviously for your background. Your pink is for your back and your border. And then they're all the colours to make the... Um, this. Get, you get it all together in the bundle, but this is the instructions on its own. But I also have now... You may have bought this in the past. Oh, I'd like to make another one. We could do the panel on its own. Oops, there you go. That's the panel all on its own. Of light. Um. Okay. Well, how much was the whole bundle? The whole bundle was nineteen ninety nine, I think, wasn't it? Okay. So instructions are nine ninety nine. Panels twelve ninety nine. So that makes uh, what twenty three pounds plus a half a meter of fabric. That takes it to twenty six fifty. Uh, it makes more sense to buy the whole bundle. That's what I'm saying. Well, it makes more sense. I, I can't tell you how to spend your money, obviously, and I wouldn't. But I want you to get the... See, all of that's 19.99. So, 12.99 is £13, £10. That's £23. That's £3.50, isn't it, or something, or like £3.25. And that'll be a £1.50. Do you know what I mean? You're getting an awful lot of your money there. I think somebody's not done their sums properly. Personally, that's what I think. Anyway, that's your elephant cushion, and that makes that one. I mean, if you don't want the little one in the middle, you don't have to have the little one in the middle. If you just want the mum and the daughter, or the mum and the son, you can do. The other cushion is your cake shop cushion. There it is. Now, it looks like that roulade's rolling off the shelf, doesn't it, at the top there? Oh, Bake Off, you're watching it. Oh, I always say, oh, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm hooked already. Hooked already. I do fast forward through the cooking bit. <laughs> I don't watch it live and then I fast forward through the bit. Like when they, I find out what they're going to make, fast forward to then the marking. Then the special one, fast forward to the marking. And then the big showstopper, fast forward through the marking. Nineteen ninety nine. so you get the instructions. Now, this one's slightly different. Where's the... Oh. Look. This has already got your border on it. It's slightly different. It's a brown rather than a red. But there you go. There's your border. There's your jam roly-poly, your cherry and your strawberry. Lovely, isn't it? So you get that for the... That's half a metre, isn't it? So you get that for the back and the background. You get the... Um, panel and you get all of the templates that you need there beautiful now which of these have i got on their own instructions on their own 9.99 i was playing the piano Nine, nine, nine. There is no reason. 
Right, and these fun in the puddles. Just the pattern. Just the pattern on its own. Don't you? Oh, Hannah doesn't jump in puddles anymore. Do you not really? Oh, Carol's saying you missed the best bits. That's how I learned techniques with cooking. Yeah, I don't want to learn how to do it. I'll go and buy a cake. I'm not going to make one. No, I'm not making them. Anyway, that'd be a bit like now. Somebody's got this on, um, this on record. They go, see what he's got. Oh, Barbara, fast forward to the end. Let's see it finished then. Nine ninety nine. I'm not I'm not going. To, I'm not going to panel or anything. That one. That's instructions only. But you, <laughs> Hannah says that's how she watched Naked Attraction. She has a look at the first person, has a look inside the box, and goes, oh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Okay, right. That's that one. That's that one. Now, we also made, not we, Barbara also made a draft excluder. Three bundles. Now, you can't make that one because the bundle that that one comes in, nobody told Barbara which fabric was for what when she was sent it. So this is what we've put with it. Barbara used the lime green. I quite like the lime green one because it would go lovely in my lounge. Okay, what's a... Oh, it's just spelled Dolly, spelt differently. Dolly, the draft excluder, right? So you get half a metre of this, half a metre of this, and your instructions, £23.99. I'm presuming... Oh, oh, little white feather, look. Little white angels inside there. Oh, here's all your instructions. Here's your pattern pieces. Cool, you get a lot in here, don't you? Mm -hmm. Plus your metre of fabric. That's gorgeous, isn't it, this fabric? T with B, Riley Blake fabric. Is this T with B as well? T with B. I don't remember that one. Anyway, so look, instructions, meet your fabric, 23.99. You'll obviously need something to stuff it with. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, so then we've got Dolly in this colourway. How have they spelt it this time? Oh, Dolly. Oh, right. If any of you got uh, problems with online checkouts, uh, this could be explaining the bar uh, Barbara. No, not the Barbara. The Arna Maria Horner bundle. Because there are way more people got that in their baskets now than we've got stock. And maybe you're having trouble checking out. Ring the call centre. It's free. It's round the corner. They'll sort it for you. So this one, Dolly. Uh, half metre, half metre instructions. Half metre, half metre instructions. You see what I would do. Now, this is just me personally, right? I'd make two and I'd make one out of this and I'd make one out of this. And then I'd just use my stash of my other fabrics at home to use it to do the other bit in. Makes sense, doesn't it? 23 99 especially with Christmas coming up, Christmas presents. Then, Dolly. Oh, it's an unusual bundle. Green and green. Dolly. Dolly. The draft excluder. You get a half metre of the grass on white, half metre of the grass on green, plus your instructions. £23.99. That's if you want a more subtle one. Designed by Delphine Brooks. Right, so we are going to do a little bit of Helen Newton and then we're going to do a little bit of Delphine Dolly. So Barbara, where are you going to start? Okay, so I am going to start with the cake shop. Okay, we're perfect. We're going to do a little bit of freehand embroidery. Lovely. And I'm going to show you how to put the patterns on. So okay. I've, I've um, cut out on the instructions, it'll tell you to cut out a cream square of... 12 and a half by 12 and a half right um and then you add the borders so you do that before you do any so applique do that everything. before you do any applique um and then i forgot to take this out of the packet i'm really sorry i'm gonna make loads of noise now oh, rubbish okay um so the bonder web for every everything you have on your um cake shop front 
That's bond web. That's the bond web. Um, you've got your pattern pieces, so you need to trace around them. So what I did was cut all of the squares out that's on that are on the panel. Right. Iron the bonder web on first. Right. And then I used a friction pen because obviously once you iron it, the markings will come of off course, of the. Yeah. Um, so I've done that, but just to save a little bit of time, um, I've cut them all out ready Already, to go. Already, okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Um, it's quite good. The panel tells you on the edges what everything is for. So it will tell you it's for the cake slices. It will tell you it's... Yeah. But you don't have to use them well, no, no. for those. You as can long mix as you and don't match try them. Because the, uh, the large and small cake have got a great big piece there. You don't try using a little piece. But you've mm -hmm. got cake slices, small tea and cake, cupcake one, cupcake two, cake flour, cake flour, cake flour, cake icing. Everything's listed and everything It on is, there. yeah. Um, so, and they all go together as well. Yeah. So what we do. So have you just got the uh, fabric there or have you put anything on the back of it? So I have put some interfacing on just onto the back just to okay. stabilise it. Lovely. Um, you could put it into a hoop when you're using the machine mm -hmm. to, to do your bit of freehand embroidery. Um, but I, you can, I just hold it. No, 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 it's but fine. But that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. it's each to their own, really. Um, it's because it's funny, because some people put things on the back, some people don't. Some people put stitch and tear, some people put iron on interfacing, some people just don't use they, anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to make the little uh, cake first. So I've just taken some of these bits here. Um, I'm just going to take this. Oh, just throwing pins at myself. Just going to take the back off of this a second. Mm -hmm. As I say, so I've ironed all of this on anyway. I got this tip from you last time. Oh, so. good. <laughs> Glad you're learning. Okay. So we're just going to place them. And again, you don't have to put them in the places where. They are on the pattern. You uh -huh. can put them. So do you use the front cover as your as your I layout use, pattern? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, and I did trace them using you had on here a little while ago. Um, I think you did the 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 quilted bear. What are you talking about? The light box. That oh you, yes. Remember the yes, light yes, box. Yes, so yes, I yes. bought the light box because I thought it was really good. Because sometimes I do a bit of card making as yeah. well. You see, so. I, I bought it, but it was brilliant to Good. use for tracing around yeah. these patterns. Excellent. So, so yeah, so it's just literally just putting it where you want it to be. And it kind of just builds up, really. Because uh -huh. when you see all the bits, you think, oh, where's all that going to go? You can make it the other way around if you want to. If you want the big cake on the other side, could, the shelves yeah. go down the side. You could, you could put do it that, in the centre. I mean, and then you've got your flower, so you could put it in the middle if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it there today. So did you make that flower with three different fabrics built on top of each yes, other? Yes, so on, on the other? panel you have um, your cake centre, your cake middle and your cake Oh, yeah, yeah, I outer. saw that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, and you've still got some left over. Oh, brilliant. Um, so you could you improvise it, as well. You could, to. yeah. There's plenty of, you know, the, you might want a pink flower on there or... Mm -hmm. So we'll just glue that one on. Once you've there done the are. cutting out oh, and the um, uh, pressing on, it must take, it could come together it really just, quickly. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So then we've got a shelf. So there's only one shelf on the pattern, but you cut out three. Okay. And you don't have to have any shelves if you don't want to. Well, they have them all on the floor. Yeah. Might have fallen off, you yeah. never know. We could just have them floating. We could just put the shelves on and then just glue everything onto the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in fact, they've all fallen off. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. Or you could do them cascading off like that. Yeah. We could do a, a you know, we'll do a shelf like that where the bracket oh, yeah. probably hang broken on, hang on, or something. Hang on. A shelf like... No, that. <laughs> the shelf like that. There. With all the cakes do. falling off. There we are. Look, the doughnut's fallen off. Yeah. It's going to hit the cake. <laughs> Emma didn't understand that. <laughs> okay. So 
so we'll put. Have you already taken the backs off these? Things? I have, yeah. yeah. And you can overlap it as well if you want to. You can mm -hmm. ha don't have to have it just on the edge there. You could go off onto the border. Well, yeah, because well, she's got. She's actually got, she got um, the big cake at the top going onto the uh, onto the border. She's got a big cupcake going onto the border. So that's why you do the borders first, because mm -hmm. so that your picture flows over the side. Yeah. So we'll put a donut here. And then now, Hannah didn't think that was a donut. What did you think it was? Oh! <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear it at home? Yes, I'm deaf in my right ear now. <laughs> All right, let's just put another shelf on and then. Yeah. Oh dear. I'd love to be going to this wedding that Hannah's going to this weekend. <laughs> She'll be really well behaved until the drinks come out. I've seen her at a... Oh! Don't do your normal trick at a wedding. I can't say. Right. I'm just going to add this cake on okay. and then we'll, we'll show you. So, so those looks... red swirly bits, those pink yeah. swirly bits of that cake, have you cut those out separately? I've or... cut, yeah, so... Every every part of the cake is is a, a part that's in the book, right? And then you layer it as you go. So you could put the cake on just for. Where's that for, fabric then? It's. Or is it lots next of different fabrics? Next to the fabrics? spotty one. So what what? Next to the spotty one, you've got like a green spot. Yeah. And then you've got a little rose one underneath. Ne sorry, oh, that one there. It. That's it. So you just cut those pieces oh, out. Wow. Um, and then you layer. So you could, if you were doing it, put the um, the cake on first, then you could layer. I've just of done course, that yeah. because um, of sort of time. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to. Yeah, because we have got a lot to do in this. We hour, have, we? yeah. Oh. Oh, what's the matter? I forgot to put the cake on a cake stand. <laughs> so it's just sat Oh, on it's the just shelf. on the shelf? Yeah, it's not on the cake stand. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll put the roly-poly on there, shall we? Will it fit? Yeah. Yeah, that's there like you go. That's like a giant one. Look at that. Oh, one. yeah, that's nice. Now, that so does make do... the cake next to it. Originally, that looked like a cake for eight on the left, but now that looks like with the roly-poly. Shall we move it down the bottom next to the giant donut? Yeah, that's better, because it's closer it? to the window. I wonder if it? you could make a giant donut. It'd be quite nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, but don't forget you deep fry it. You have to have a pan deep enough for it to be deep fried. Yeah, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah. I do like a donut. That they, they, They've both just said exactly the same. Oh, we'd love a donut. Yeah. But do you like old-fashioned donuts, or do you like, like the Krispy Kreme ones that like air? No, I like old-fashioned ones. Yeah. I like the ones you get when you go to... The so, seaside. Yeah, so down in Westwood Ho, my mum used to live in Westbury. Yeah. And down in Westwood Ho, they had um, the old proper stand where they dropped them into the... Into the fat. Into the... Ri oh, and they're just delicious. And did they, are can, they ring donuts or the ones with jam inside? Uh, ring ones, yeah. just ring ones. And they're really hot and they burn your mouth, oh, but yeah. they're just... Yes, but when I went to live in Spain, mm. yeah, I'm going back donkey's years now, I discovered chocolate and churros, oh, which are like the donuts, well. but in the long term, you just dip them into hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh. We had those, um, they have them at Winter Wonderland. In, oh, do they? Yeah. yeah in, uh, you know, in London, that big one. Yeah, Hyde those, Park one. Yeah. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah, they are. Chocolate and churros are delicious, yeah. And that uh, you're allowed to just let that all over your face and no, everything. No, that's yeah. why they're long, because then you don't get it all over your face. Oh, no. It gets all in your chin. Oh, It gets damn. all in Rob's beard. It's everywhere. <laughs> oh, did he message you in the break? Did he tell you off for talking about it? No, no, not at all. He was a bit upset that I couldn't remember what his... Um... His name was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you're kind of drawing with the fabric, really. That's yeah. what you're doing. It's so I've put a cake up here. Right. It doesn't have to be where it is on the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I've got a cake slice here as well. So they're all just different. 
So you can basically put it where you, you want. Can, yeah. You've got the, she gives you the you can. Helen gives you the components, and you can yep. just put it where you like. I like this kind of um, sewing. Okay, so you say this kind of cake. See, I'm I'm not. I like doing. I'm not a cake. A cheese. Oh, <gasps> if you give me cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, that's it. I'm like a mouse. A mouse. Yeah, I'll disappear and Dis just eat the cheese. Oh wow. I love cheese. And I like stinky cheese as well. Oh. Yeah. Proper stinky cheese. What's that on top of the? That's a quiff. No, it's not. It's a piece of um. Um, Meringue. No, yeah, like no. cream. Oh, frothy cream. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But oh, you see, you once you... Go, you can go and buy some yum-yums in a minute, Emma. Oh, I nearly bought you some of those. Oh, no. I nearly did. No. And then I thought, oh, I don't know. They might not be... They might be gluten-free or... No, no, I'm okay. gluten-free. Oh, OK. But I would have eaten those. You're ruining my diet with all this delicious talk of donuts, <laughs> says Jojo. <laughs> right. Just put a little flour on the top of the cake yeah. there. And again, all these little bits are in the in the pattern. And then I've got a strawberry here. And then I shall go on and show you how to do some yeah, okay, you, freehand. Because yes. I'm conscious that we've got to... Uh, yeah, we're going to run out of time. We've got Dolly the dog cakes. to make as well. <laughs> and what? We've got Dolly dog the dog to make. To make. We've got <laughs> well, no, we're not going to talk about the elephants, are we? Because the elephants are literally the same... It, you do it exactly, exactly the, the same, same way. The in the book, you have um, in the little instructions on the yeah. elephant. You do have a little girl and a little boy, and the re and they just have the little girl and the mum have really long eyelashes, so you can put those onto your. Oh, okay. So there's a mum, a dad. Yeah. There's a mum, a dad, a little boy and a little girl. Yeah, and the little girl and the mum have eyelashes. Oh. So... But you... the boy elephants not have eyelashes, then? Um, Did you not do your study on life? I'm the zoologist, I know the answer. Who are? Uh? <laughs> no, no, it's only because I watch Secret Life of the Zoo. Oh, OK. I don't know everything about animals. But having said that, since I got back from holidays, I haven't watched any of them. They're all waiting to be watched. Oh. Kind of I met this amazing lady the other week oh, who yes. works in a zoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to be friends with her so she can she <laughs> let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Which zoo, Shat? Um, It's somewhere uh, the other side of Reading somewhere. I don't know which zoo it is. Oh. She's a very nice lady, though, I must say. But, um, so you didn't get all yeah. the important stuff? I didn't get all the all important stuff. In my village, the lady who runs Tricross Zoo lives mm -hmm. in my village. Oh. She just moved in recently. I'd love to do that for a day. What, working in a village? You, yeah. you can do that. You can buy that as one of those um, uh, gift, you know, like the red envelope, whatever they call it, those kind of... Um, I'll say it again really loud. I'd like to do that. Okay, it's coming Robert. Up, yes, coming up to Christmas. I'd like to be in the zoo, not actually in the zoo. I yeah, don't yeah. want to be in the zoo. Yeah, don't give him that idea. Yeah, <laughs> he'd probably send me as well. Claire okay. can't resist the Viennese whirl. Ooh, I like. Have you got any Viennese well. whirls in your shop? No, sorry, no, no Viennese whirls. Not today. You could make some though. Yeah, there's plenty of fabric to do it. Okay. Custard and apple donuts are the best, says Tracy. Mm. I don't think I've ever had one of those. I don't like the custard in them. Don't you? No. I oh. don't like the custard in those. Okay, so I've just done a little bit, but yeah. you can obviously go a bit mad with all of your yeah. shelves and things. Right, let's... Now, can we just explain? You're going to do yeah. free motion embroidery. I am, You don't yep. have to do free motion embroidery if you, you don't, don't want, but you do have to stitch them somehow, you don't do, you? You do, yeah. I mean, you could go around the edges really delicately if you wanted to um but you'd be there forever yeah. trying to get it all perfect. Well, you can do a blanket stitch you can do it by blanket. hand you can mm -hmm. do anything whatever your fancy is that's yep. what you can do okay okay right Robert, so oh i can't say what he's done he's bought he's bought he bought he's bought your present has he oh i can't read it out in case it's a surprise no it's probably the cat food. I did tell him to pick some up on the way. No, no, it's oh. a gift for you. Oh, is it? Oh, what's, I'd love to do that. What's the if she, Robert, 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 if she doesn't want to go, I'll come. 
Oh, is he talking about? He might have, might be talking about the anniversary one he's just got me. Oh, right. What's it? What is it? He bought me a, an afternoon tea and spa in one of the nice hotels. No, yeah. no. And he's told me I can tell you oh. he's booked you a hot air balloon ride. Well, tell him he can go on his own. You oh. can go on that one. You won't catch me in an air balloon at all. Okay, Robert. No. What date? <laughs> I'll, I'll book it off. Now. You can take him. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was a joke. I didn't know. There's me thinking he'd really bought you a lovely no, present. No, I won't. No way. Okay. My son skydives. I've done that. Oh, no. No, no, no. My feet. I did have a marine strapped to my back. I have did to admit, you? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you wouldn't catch me in the air. Two feet on the ground. I don't mind being in the water, actually. I love the sea. And the rougher, the better. <laughs> Not quite the same, is it? No. Uh, Christine says, I love Mars bar chocolate crispy cake slices. <gasps> Mars bar wow. chocolate crispy cake slices made by my local cafe. Blimey. Brilliant show, but I'm off to work now. Oh, bless. Robert's laughing. Anyway. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> but don't put her off, Robert. What I've done is, in order to do the freehand embroidery, yeah. I've just moved the needle down and pulled the bottom thread just to the top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then I've set it onto a sort of a half fast, not too... Have you dropped your feed dogs? I ha oh. Yes, I have. Okay, brilliant. Okay, and then we're just going to use the needle mm -hmm. and draw around the edges of the... And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not... It, as long as you've got the fabric attached to the... Um, the you know, your, your picture... And you're just going to follow that round. And you could use metallic threads if you wanted to, although that's a little bit. Uh huh. And we're just going to draw. I'm just going round this. Um, just bear with me. Little snippy ones. Just going to snip off those bits of cotton, otherwise they get tangled up in the. Um, machine. There we go. Go around, and you go around once, you can go around so again. You, just put them. you can, yeah. I'm just putting a little swirl in the middle of the flower there. I'll just show you. So that's what I've done on that one. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, lovely. So I'll just put a little swirl in there. Let's just take out these little tiny bits of thread. Good if you've got some little snippy yeah. scissors. There we are. Ah. Okay. And you don't have to take it out. You can just keep going as well. Um, do you do it all in the same colour or do you change your colours? It's up to you, really. Um, depends how you want it to look. It does. You With the one I did for the show, I, I used the same thread. But yeah. like I say, you could, if you wanted some sparkly bits on it, you could use metallic threads if you wanted to. Um, the only thing is with fabric, uh, with the metallic threads, just check your machine because sometimes it's a little bit, um, they can be a little bit temperamental. You need a, a, a proper needle for it, You really. do, yeah. So I'm just going around the edges of this um, bit of icing. And then on the ribbon here, I'm just going to, you can do some little waves. So it looks like you've got a... Oh, look at you. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> I 
Turn it round. <laughs> that would add a bit of a pink on it. Bit of a yeah. Curve. Them over your head like that. They go into peaks, not. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you get that from? Um... No, I knew that before. Oh, okay. Standard. Let's caught that up. I must have not got that from my nan, I suppose. My nan used to make drop scones. What? My nan used to make drop scones. You ever had a drop scone? No. It's a scone. You dropped it. No, <laughs> they're like drop. They're like rock cakes. Oh, no. They don't like rock cakes. No, With I like Welsh cakes. Dead flies in. When, um, now, Gaining, was it Gaining used to bring us the, I can't remember, what was that, used to bring us the um, Welsh cakes and they were delicious. Mm. Okay. Do what, Han? Oh, has she? What with you? Uh, Hello, morning all. Love to see such a fab demo of my cakes. I'm off to London this afternoon for fun with my three-year-old granddaughter from Helen Newton. Oh, oh Helen, fun. lovely. Have a lovely time. Where are you going, Hannah wants to know? Are you going to a museum? With a three? Do you love the museums at three? I think a three-year-old would be more interested in cake and splashing in puddles. We never had school insert days when I was at school. Do you know, they have so many of them at the moment. Yeah. Whenever Hannah used to have an inset day, she um, had that. Was it your dad or your granddad, did you say? Granddad. You take her to London. Oh. Uh, right, now I don't want to be a party pooper, but we're going to have to move on. Okay, that's, that's fine. Right. So. Because yeah. you've got a whole dog to make, yeah? I have. <laughs> So literally, you just finish off so, doing yeah, your stitching. Yeah, so you just draw. So you yeah. put all of your bits on um, and then draw with your sewing machine around the edges. Um, and then you can put some swirls of bits yeah. and pieces in. And then you make an envelope back Perfect. with the other part of that. Lovely. It's all in the instructions sure. anyway. It is, yeah. Helen's going to the cake shop with her three-year-old granddaughter. Oh. Cake is good. Right. Okay. Now, so, so the, that's the, do, you, do you want me to recap anything or just get on with it? The, no. We'll just recap the, the cushion bundles then very quickly because we're moving on to Delphine's um, uh, dog draft excluder now. So elephant here, very popular even though we haven't demoed any of it. So it's uh, 19 99 Well, it's very popular because you get so much in it. You get an instruction, which should be 9 99 which are 9 9 a panel, which is 12 99 So we've already gone over and above. You get a half a metre of the pink and you get a fat quarter of the cream or the vanilla in there. I know. Brilliant. £19.99. Very, very popular. So that's that bundle. And then the other bundle for the cake shop that you've just seen. Now, the border is already on the, on the panel there. So you get the cake shop instructions, you get the panel, and you get half a metre of the cream. What's the matter, Anne? There is 19.99. Oh, Dawn's going to bring cookies. Oh, she left a cookbook at the studio. Oh, is it in that cover? Where's it gone? Is, is it in the cover? Is it that one down there in the cover? Um, she's going to make cookies and bring them in next time she comes into the studio. Oh, what day is she on? I don't know. Why? Because I won't see her. Did you leave your Teflon foot here as well, Dawn? Oh, no, that was Mark. Oh, no, oh. it might be. When did you... Well, anyway, where is it yeah. then, Hannah? Oh, we got it next door. Whoever left the Teflon foot, it was... Either, oh, it was Barbara. I was working on that, um, okay. on the P. Right, so the three bundles okay. for Dolly, Dolly the dog. Oh, hang on, which one should I do first? I'm going to do the teacups one first. So it's like a blush floral, woodland floral, plus your teacups, plus your instructions. So it's a metre of fabric plus the instructions. £23.99. Then we've also got it in the green and floral. $23.99. And then we've also got the green on green, which is this one. I say green on green. It's two. It's the same fabric, just two different colourways in the green. 
Oh, now, does anybody know why we say colourway rather than just colour? Somebody sent me a message yesterday. I haven't replied to it yet. I don't know why. I don't know why it's called colourway. When you go, oh, this is in the yellow colourway, not the yellow colour. Recycle toy stuffing, four ninety nine because you will need some toy stuffing. There's a picture. That bottle, that stuffing used to be a plastic bottle. And it's washable and it's um, clean and hygienic and soft. Oh, and now, these doesn't tell you to use the pellets in, but I think you'd need to put a bag inside with a bit of pellets in just to make it a bit heavier so it stays by the door. Personally, there they are. Uh, is that a hole in that bag? No, I haven't put a hole in any of the bags recently. Five ninety nine. Right, is this quite an easy project to do? It is quite an easy project. Um, you do need to interface all of the pieces before you with medium start weight it, interfacing. With medium weight interfacing. However, on the website, I haven't done it because of the show, but this, that's what it tells you to do. Okay. So I'm going to just do it without today, okay. because otherwise I'll have to cut it all out. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is his ears. Right. Okay. It's a she, not a he. Oh, sorry, she. Dolly? It's no, I've it's got, called Dolly. It's because I've got two. I've got dogs and they're... Well, no, actually. One's a girl. What? One Dolly? My dog's a girl. Is it called Dolly? No. It's called Tux. Tux, as in Tuxedo. Because okay. she's got this big white... Oh, like our Tuxedo like a, cat yeah. that we had on Cat of the Month. She's got a big bib. Oh, she's got a beard as well. Oh, bib, not beard. Bib. Like the husband. <laughs> yeah. Okay, run. so okay, the pack so pieces are all in the pattern, aren't they? They are, yeah. They're show. all in the back and they're all the right size as Brilliant. well. So there's no... Um, making bigger. Making big. I can't do that. Do you know how to do no. that? No. So. When I lived in Twickenham, there was, just by Marks and Spencer's, there was um, a stationery shop and you could take things in and go, I want this 200% bigger or 400% mm -hmm. bigger, but I wouldn't know how to do it. Okay. So... What I've done is I have got one colour um, with the poppies on, or the bees, and then mm -hmm. I've got the green on one side so that... Okay, so you're not, you're, you're, this is, again, you're using the lime fabric from earlier, I'm using the earlier, lime. I am, yeah. yeah. So I'm just pinning it, and it's on the pattern pieces as well. Delphine has left little marks to tell you where to leave it open. So that you can, oh, sorry, put it down a bit there here, we go. So you can, um, you know where to turn it. So okay, on brilliant. his head, you've got one here. Uh -huh. So there's little markings on there just to tell you. Okay. Oh, Dawn's saying she left her Teflon foot as well. Oh. Oh, there'll be a fight over oh. the Teflon foot now. <laughs> I might not have. I know I used oh, well, one, not, we're not but I haven't you, looked. Then, no, keep it for Dawn, it's fine. I've got two, and again, I'm using a quarter inch seam. Yeah. So we're just going to stitch all the way around. Rachel's watching with her two kittens, Lily and Bobbin. Oh, have you seen them? They're very beautiful. No, I haven't. Uh. Uh? Okay. What's the matter? Not really. Oh, sorry. No, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I forget where I am sometimes. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> um, Hannah's next door neighbour, Tony, he's got a dog and an accent like this. Not like this, because it's a live one. Mm -hmm. um, and he wears a little coat. You can make a little coat for him if you wanted to. Or you could do what he's just had done to him. He can no longer have children. Making some quilted shorts or something. Making some quilted shorts. <laughs> Barbara McClay, I am in Kane tomorrow. What does that mean? Oh, she's in Calm. Is that Calm. Dawn? Is that Dawn? Yeah. Yeah. Calm, that's where I live. Oh, is it? You're going out yeah. for a day then? So Dawn's mum yeah. um, 
lives in Calm. I think it's a mum or it's a mother-in-law. Right. She very often comes down. She oh. said next time she was down, she'd come okay. pop in. And well, she won't be bringing any cake because she's left a cookbook here. Yeah. Oh, you could take a cookbook with you. I could do, couldn't And you the like? Teflon foot. Oh. <laughs> I think this is the cookery book, isn't it? It's on the front. Oh, no, this isn't a cookery book. This is sew a bag. Sewing. Oh, we don't know where your cookery book is then. Oh. Hang on. No, this one's called Sew a Bag. Oh, mess there. message me in a bit and tell me where you've left it. Yeah. Oh, I had to tidy up earlier, so. It's in the, it's it's in the bin. The you thought it was a load of rubbish. So. Huh? <laughs> I said it's gone in the bin. You thought it was No, rubbish. nothing goes in the bin. <laughs> So I'm just turning the ears around the right way and we'll just give them a quick press and then you would top stitch them. Right, so, they're all so you nice don't put anything inside them, they're left flat? No, are these are left flat. Inside the feet you would, you just put a little bit of stuffing inside the feet. Right. Um, just to obviously give him a little bit of stability. Otherwise he looks look like a goat from here. He does a bit. A mountain goat yeah. from the front and the I've side. I've got a it? feeling it's probably because I pulled his eyeballs in a bit too high. Oh, so You know is that when it? you put the buttons on. High on a hill stood a lonely goat head. <laughs> With all your talk of cake, I've had to have a coffee break and open up the carrot cake I bought for my husband, Ooh, says Pam Minihani. I do like that as well. Carrot cake? That's not cake. Oh, oh Hannah loves is. carrot cake. Yeah, you have to, that we, it has to have all that frosting on the top. Okay. I'm supposed to be going on a diet. I'm, my um, son's getting married in July. Oh, so, your ages. You can start oh. in June. I'm st well, I'm doing another cycle. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm doing. Um, I'm going around Croatia. Oh wow! In um, well, May, uh, is it May? Yeah, May. We're you got a just a, giving page or something then? Um, not just yet because I've not. Um, I've not set it up. I'll okay. tell you when I have. But and what um, charity is that for? Then, I the am going. To, I'm going to be doing it for the brain tumor charity. Oh, brilliant! Um, my nephew back in May, who was seven, um, unfortunately passed away after oh. two years. So um, we did a. Oh, it's a brilliant cause. So. It's really is yeah. and they've been so helpful they were so helpful with my um brother and sister-in-law you know with them um, with their loss and, mm -hmm. and the, the support they gave them was brilliant oh so well, and it makes it so much more be. special when you're doing it it's all i, I think anybody who's anything charity is brilliant mm. but when it's something that's personal and close to home i yeah. think it gives you even more it's of funny a, i've got goosebumps i have now. as well my nose has gone all tingly <laughs> but i don't, didn't even know the little lad yeah. So, yeah, so I shall be raising money for that. I Brilliant. have to cycle. Uh, I think How many miles is it? Well, it's over seven different islands of, oh, wow. in Kuwait. So we're on a, on a boat. Um, oh, oh, you're cycling around the boat? Yeah. <laughs> Just round and round <laughs> and round. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're... Um, the, 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 it's not a holiday, but the, the trip itself I'm paying for myself and yeah. then all the money that is raised will go to oh, the, the, um, the charity yeah. so okay so I've done the ears mm -hmm. and I've just pressed them but like I say you would top stitch them but just because of time yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, going yeah, to, yeah, not going to do that left, yeah. Um, oh yeah actually we've got Yarn Lane to go to so we have to finish on time ooh, yeah, sorry. okay so we've got this piece here that looks like a crocodile this is his forehead Okay. Okay, Emma did an so, impression of a crocodile, and I couldn't see a crocodile, but there you go. Okay. And then we have got oh, his head pieces. Are those okay. little notches darts then? Just so, the yeah, darts. these are darts. So what you would do is, first of all, with these pieces, we're going to just stitch down that line. Yeah. Okay. And, and yours at home would be interface, wouldn't they? It they would, all have, it would all have interfacing in, yeah. I say, and I would be using a cotton that matched. It's yes. just because I'm obviously on here, then you can see what I've done. So just a little stitch there. Oh. Oh. Don't know what's happened there. Didn't cut it. So that just gives him then the shape of his head. Right, yeah. Okay. So do the same on that one. Oh, and it's right sides together. Yeah. When you do it. There we are. Mm -hmm. OK. 
okay and then with this part here you leave that gap until the end so we don't do that part until, oh, okay. until okay. we've put the rest it's all in of the his, instructions, though, it is, is it? it's all in the instructions so it's right sides together again so from the back of the head onto the end of here mm -hmm. okay and we just pin it all the way around till it meets and there is a slight curve in it but if you just do it gently it's fine yeah So I'll just pin those. And then his nose kind of goes up, look, but you just need to just... Oh, yeah, so you've got your two curves. You have yeah, to use just it around, join yeah. The, the two curves. Are you doing Yarn Lane today as well? Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. Yarn Lane with Carrie Gardner. Mm -hmm. We're doing... Um, well, it's a really beautiful, it's like, is it linen, is it linen and cotton, did we say the mix was? Mixed yarn, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. I really should have some lessons in knitting. I do like it, but I've, it's just not something I do very much of. Mm -hmm. Okay. You sound so, like you have much time to do knitting. No, <laughs> got all these projects to all do. All these projects to <laughs> yeah. do, and bike rides to practice. Have you done any yeah. practicing? Sorry? You don't need any practicing for your bike ride? No, not yet. Not yet. I've got a new bike though. So oh, that's cracking. A new bike. Well, they give you a bike, and I'm, we're not going to lie, I've got an electric one this time. So you're not really cycling? Then? No, I am. It's a moped? <laughs> no. They're it... called cycle assist, aren't they? My next door neighbours have got them. Yeah. And the husband, uh, the wife doesn't ever switch hers on. And the husband only has his electric one then. Ah, oh, you do have to pedal with them. They do have turbo sport mode though, which are really good. Yeah. Especially in Croatia. So you haven't got to take your own bike then? No, oh, they right. supply all of that for you, which uh, is really Dawn good. Dawn says it's, it, it is in the autumn panel fabric. Autumn. Don't know what that means. The oh. cookbook, I suppose. Hayley had to tidy up, you see, so it could be anywhere, okay. that's the problem. Right, so I've put one side of his head on. Yeah. Okay, so then that's... Oh, yeah, I can see that so taking that's shape kind now, of yeah. taking shape. Lovely, give it a good press afterwards. Yeah. Snip that off. And then you attach the other side to that as well. Yeah. Do you want me to do that? Have I got time to do um, that, or...? Shall I show Actually, you how to put the body? Actually, talk us through the body. Yeah. So you make the head separately. So you make the head, leave the head, and then put a bit of stuffing in there. So you right. just stuff the head first. Right, what did you use for eyes? So for eyes, I've used buttons, but you can use thick thread. You can use um, pom-poms. What's, what's Delphine done on her? Delphine's done, um, I think she just she's done, done, stitches. done some stitches. Okay. But you, but you can use, use whatever because it's not a toy. It's a, it's a draft excluder, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And is it marked where the eyes have to go? It is, yeah. Brilliant. It's all marked on the pattern. Lovely. Here we are, look, there's the head. Oh, look. yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got, got your eyeball on there. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then do you do that dark now, once you've made the whole, you know, you said... You've got oh, yeah, so you do that. I'll tell you what I did forget to do. Wow. He's going to be deaf because I forgot to put his ears <laughs> Oh, no, so but what did it get? You, so... so yeah, so when before you, you do those before things... Before you put the head, the, the forehead on, yeah. stitch his ears on. Right. Now okay. he's a deaf dog, but, right. you know... He'd be a one-eared dog. He'd be a one-eared dog, I could yeah. do the okay. other side. And then your body. Okay, then the body, body you've got three different parts of the body. So you've got your tail end, right. which is in one colour. Yeah. And then you've got your um, body and then the neck part. Right. So then that creates the long part. But okay. what you do is you make the first, the, the back end first. <laughs> that nice way of putting it. You do the back end first. You do first. the back. <laughs> right. Don't make me giggle. Okay. So you join these two together, um, yeah. right sides together. Okay. Here. 
So I'll just quickly do it. You pin it in place. And you'd be ironing it as well. Yeah, of course. Not as you go. As you went, yeah. Okay. So there's one half. Just press out those seams. Yeah. Do you press them flat? Yeah, press yeah. them flat. And then you have the other side. Uh huh. So, oops. Right sides together again, she says. Yeah. Make sure a bit goes where. That's it. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That's Who's Adam? I'm, Adam, it's that's my that's my watch son. Oh, so we haven't to, seen the picture of yet. I'll show you. He says hello, mum. Oh, bless him. Now can I what can I look at his? Oh no, I haven't got my phone with me. You can't look at the profile on here. I thought if you clicked on the name, it would bring up his page. Oh, I'll show you in a minute. Right, that's my watch model son. Okay, well, <laughs> he's fit apparently, according <laughs> to his girlfriend. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. How old is he? He is 24. You see, I can't believe you've got such old children. <laughs> don't call him old. He'll no, be not upset. you. Oh. Not him. Not oh. him, I mean. I meant you, because you don't look, you know, you're a very young spirit. Oh, you? I'm nearly 50. <gasps> oh, I'm dreading getting to 50. Are you? Yeah. <gasps> it's really scary. No, it isn't. Oh. Everyone always tells me it's like... 50 is the new 40. It's the new 30, thank oh, you. Is it? Oh, okay. Um, are you having a party? I'd like, yeah, I'd like one, but okay. it's right by, my birthday's the 22nd of December. Oh, no, we're not coming then. So, it's it's Christmas. And Rob's is the 21st. Bearded Wonder, apparently, is. That's what he's oh, put. that's because my friend James thinks, when he saw the photograph of him, he said to me, who is this bearded wonder? Oh, <laughs> so, okay. And yeah. it was your boy. And so it it's a bit boy. awkward, some people saying, oh, your son's fit, your son's fit. It makes me bit... really proud. Yeah, of course it does. Because, but... you know, he's handsome. But then all my boys are handsome. Yeah, of course. And really. I mean, he's got 11, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was bored in my teens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not that bored. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing things that teens shouldn't be doing. <laughs> does he? Does he live near? Do they live nearby? They though? do. Yeah, they both. They both live in a um, in a village called Potton, which is. So everyone in near... Potton, you know, you've got a bearded wonder hunk <laughs> living in your village. <laughs> Must have know that already. He'd be like, "Mum, stop it." <laughs> <laughs> He'd be loving it. Anyway, uh, we've got to hurry okay. up. Okay, okay. I'm hurrying. About I'm hurrying. Can you talk through the rest? I will talk do. Okay, so this is his back end. Yeah. Okay. We've got the neck end. Yeah. So let's just take that out. I'm going to have to go and buy some quilting pins. I've just thrown all mine in there. Yeah. That's his head. Yeah. That's his neck part. So you would join the back end together. Right. And you'd put the feet on. Right. And then you'd stuff it. Then you would make the neck part and you join the head to the neck part. Right. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Got that now. Then you join the neck part to there. And then you would join the middle part up. Right. Okay. And then stuff that and piece. And then stuff that piece. Okay. Because trying to get the head on when you've got lots of long tube of fabric yeah. um, doesn't really work. So and all the feet the just bagged out. And the feet like the are ears. here. Yeah. So it's exactly the same as you would do with the... Um, the ears so you've got two pieces here yeah and you'd stitch them round the end yeah and right fill them together. right sides together and then fill that with wadding yeah or toy stuffing, stuffing. Um, and they kind of go that way so the the larger end goes like a shoulder yeah like a shoulder 
Um, and like you said earlier, you could put some weights in there if you wanted to. Yeah, make a little then, bag and put them. Yeah. In. Where do you? Where's the final um, ladder stitch to stitch in? Stitch the thing. That in? goes on his belly. On his belly. Underneath. So you could so do you that. Could you could do, do the whole stuff thing. Make a little bag. Put the weights in it. Put it in and then slip stitch mm -hmm. it together. Yeah. Brilliant. When are you in next? I am on again, twenty fifth of October. Twenty fifth. So a couple of weeks. You're in loads, aren't you? At the moment. You've, this is your third show in a row, I almost, know. isn't it? Yeah. Twenty fifth of October. What day of the week's that? Um, um, it's a Monday. Oh, that'll be with Rekka Reed then. Okay. Rekka Reed. Anyway, thank you. It's been lovely to see thank you. Thank you, Angie. Lovely to see you. Right, very quickly, we've got to do a recap of Dolly. Uh, I've got the green and green one here. Oh, hang on. Which one have you got in? Green and green. So you get the instructions, half metre, half metre, 23.99. You will need some toy stuffing and you will need some iron-on interfacing. We have got the blush and teacup version. Half metre, half metre instructions, 23.99. I'm only rushing because we've got to shut down and go to um, Yarn Lane. And then we've got the um, one that Barbara was meant to make it out of, but she chose to use the lime fabric. So you get half metre, half metre, and you get the instructions, 23.99. Everything you've seen from today's show is on the, inter uh, on the internet, on the website, on show deals. Right, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. It's me again tomorrow, everyone. Hello, it's fabulous fabrics at eight o'clock. Didn't we have that today? Sally Stevens Castellations Quilt. It's our very own design, that one. There should be an apostrophe in there. At 10 o'clock, Quilting Tools. 11 o'clock, Sally Stevens is making Pam and Nikki Lynn Tot Square Deal Quilt. I'm going to Yarn Lane again tomorrow. Now, there's no guests on Yarn Lane tomorrow. It's me and Baby Makes. But I think Rebecca Reed's done some special prices for you. There's something going on tomorrow and I can't quite remember what it is. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for your company today. We're going on to Yarn Lane now. So if, you, if you're on the telly, stay where you are. If you're watching on the website, on the YouTube or on Facebook, you need to go and find the Yarn Lane uh, equivalents of it. But if you're on the telly, stay where you are. If you've already bought something from me this morning on Sewing Street, then your P&P is paid for on Yarn Lane. However, none of the products from this show go onto that website or that so. And if you've never logged into Yarn Lane before, your login details are exactly the same after Sewing Street. What are you saying, Han? Oh, the Anna Maria bundle, right? We only had eight. There was something like 18 people had it in their basket, right? Please check out now because... There it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, there is... Okay, there are six left. But there are 30 people got it in their baskets. If you've got any problems checking out, just ring the call centre there. It's free and they're just down the road here. Uh, it is, uh, when it's gone, we won't be able to get that again. And I know it's a considered purchase. Use the split payment if you want to. But it's, take it from me. It's flipping gorgeous, right? Uh, we're going now. We'll see you in Yarn Lane in about four minutes. If not, I'll see you on Sewing Street tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye.